Oh, hello, Ryan Gary. Oh, hello, Daniel. We we, had, we got something special cooked up, huh? A collaboration, uh, weeks in the making. We in many ways. There's hey, do you know when um when Mario's uh, resident sleepers he talks about ravioli and stuff? Dude, honestly, I thought that was kind of problematic. Really? Well, I mean, like, I know he's Italian, but just because he's Italian, like, when he goes to sleep, he has to go, oh, spaghetti, oh, ravioli. You know, it doesn't strike you as a little bit uh, culturally uh, insensitive. No, like, I think that's why this works is because I'm like, oh, for them to do that back in the day, I'm like, that's pretty good. Like, I, I'm over here laughing. <laughs> he's talking about spaghetti and meatballs and a lasagna. But I also am oh, Italian. So. All right. Uh, oh, you know what? That's true. I can't tell you how to feel about that. Yeah. That's that. You know, that's your own uh, your own cross to bear. So, Ryan Gear, we're debuting some brand new cross tech between you and I, first ever. I mean, I, I like to call it the egg and egg cam. It, it's true. I uh, I stole this from Chibli and Apollo. Chibli okay. and Apollo uh, have been doing Mario sixty four races where they have picture in picture, so you can see how the other person is doing and, you know, try to catch up to them over time or, you know, just find yourself completely, uh, you know, lost in the sauce. But we can use it for coaching as yeah. well, I think. Yes. So I can model for you the behavior that you're supposed to embody and then you could just yeah. do it and it's just that easy. Forehead. So, so long story short, like I haven't, I, I got this game when it came out I haven't touched it since. Like, I'm pretty excited. Dude, I, uh, that's the thing that kept me out of the Super Mario 64 speedrun for so long. Like, I basically did not play the game in 1996 when it came out. You did it? So this is like, this is, this is brand new to me. And then I thought it would be like impossible, but actually it's, it's not that hard. There's like 10 tricks you learn and the pog to difficulty ratio Dang is infinite. Pinky. You're, you're going to look at this stuff, I'm going to do it on the screen, and you're going to be like, there's no way I could ever do it. You're going to do it second try, and you're going to be like, that's amazing. I'm excited for that. Can I ask you a question, though? Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, What were you doing in 96 instead of playing this game? What were you playing in place of this? So I, I have a story I love to tell. Yeah, tell me. I must have, I must have graduated from like third or fourth grade. Okay. And my, my parents told me, like, hey, for your graduation, you can buy any N64 game. And my friend was like, like, they'll pay for it. My, my, my parents will pay for it. My friend was like, you gotta get uh, Super Mario 64. It's like one of the best games ever made. Like, you have to have it if you have an N64. We went to Toys R Us. Super Mario 64 was like $59.99. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire was like $109. 99 at Toys R Us and I was like man I know that Mario is like a great game but if I want to get my money's worth I should get Star Wars Shadows of the Empire because it's like so much more expensive so I ended up getting Star Wars Shadows of the Empire and uh, played <laughs> played a little bit of that never made it past like the fifth level because it was terrifying as a child and uh just missed my window to play Super Mario 64. This is the hardest I've cringed in 2022. So the young Ryan Gary sitting there, stuck in on Hoth on the ice planet, while everyone else in your neighborhood's just pogging up to 100 stars, flinging. Yahoo! Whoopee! Oh and that, man! Like it has you know what's when you go to like college, what's old is new again. Yeah. So like the the N sixty four was like two generations back. We had one in our dorm room and stuff like that. People were always like, "Oh man, dire dire docks, I love this level." And I was like, "Yeah, guys, me too." <laughs> you guys ever play the Maz Eisley Cantina level in Star Wars: <laughs> Shadows of the Empire? Me neither, because I couldn't kill Boba Fett's ship on the on that canyon level because it scared the crap out of me. I, I just have one one follow-up question. So you're sitting on Star Wars, like a month or a couple months go by, maybe like Christmas or like, what was the nearest holiday where you, you could have asked for another game? Probably my birthday, but dude, honestly, like I was I was so fiscally conservative as a child. I mean, we're getting, it's, we're too deep in the banter hole. Yeah. But I remember I had saved up like a hundred dollars and Toys R Us had a sale on games. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, finally, I'm gonna buy Banjo-Kazooie, and then I had like 
$40 left over and I was like, I'm gonna get James Bond 007 for the Game Boy Color at the same time. And then like after I made the decision to buy it, but before I even bought it, I just broke down in tears. I was like, man, $100, that's a lot of money. I don't know if I really want to do this. <laughs> and then I did it. Did and you then, really so, cry? I, I did, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But Banjo, I don't know, because I was like, having the money in your account's a nice feeling too. <laughs> but like, I also want to hear Gruntilda go like, wah, 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 wah. You like the one, the digital ones and zeros better than something in your hands. Because, well, I had it in my, I had a bank book at the time. So yeah. it was, every time I opened that thing, I'd have to look at the, the debits and the credits. That's a very heartwarming story. If, if I could go back in time and change one thing, I would just tap you on the shoulder in Toys R Us. And I would just say, hey kid, get Mario. Ed Mario, yeah. it's true. All right, should we start this? <clears throat> we can start it. Yeah, let's. Okay. So just you, you, you got your split set up. I'm just, I'm here to tell you that I think that's a little unnecessary, but I also understand the commitment to the pageantry. Yeah. And you know, it, it's kind of nice. It's like that first Peloton ride. You know, your numbers are probably not going to be as good as they're going to get, but you're guaranteed PB on run two. So, so why not record them? Well, I'm saying PB on run one too. You know. Well, uh, obviously. Um, are just just for <laughs> just for comparative purposes, are you using the Pro controller? I'm using two Joy Cons slotted Ooh. into a plastic. Uh, I don't even know what you'd call this. A, okay. A, a plastic trapezoid. Okay, I got you. All right, so yeah, walk me through this. Hit 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 the okay. A button. Okay, well, technically, like, you're using Virtual Console, right? Yes. So I start my uh, my run by hitting the minus button, and then I start my split at the time that I hit reset game. Oh, okay. So you would go, like, three, two, one, start your split, reset the game. Okay. Then Mario's going to pop up, and you just mash like a madman. Which, A button? I don't even know, man. Okay. I don't think it may. Oh, press start. Press start. start. And then you're going to hit A on the on the file select screen, and then you get 40 seconds of no impact. Okay. How about the, vo so, how about the voice acting in a 64 cartridge? Sorry. Okay. I can't believe they had... They, dude, there's so many great lines in this game. I break the cake for you. Wahoo! So long, King of Bowser. Only we're not totally sure that he says king. <laughs> we're not totally... You can be the judge for yourself when we get there. Okay. So the great thing about the, the Mario 64 speedrun is that you can take it, it sounds weird, you can take it at your own pace, you know? You, you could play through the game normally and it would be very slow. Uh, okay. You can learn a few tricks, which is what I'm going to teach you today. Something repeatable that gets you like the meat of the speedrun. You're going to be very fast relative to anybody that's never seen the speedrun before. And then after that, you can choose to do some like advanced tricks. So like... For now, I would say all you got to do is you're going to... You know what? This would be a good time to actually like learn the long jump. Yeah. So the long Damn jump hot. is literally just the ZL button while moving, and then you hold a direction and hit jump. And then you'll you'll find yourself doing... You have to be moving while you do it. Yeah. Okay, and so that's, that's jump the is the jump. A button? Jump is A, that's true. And... Uh, B will be punch. You're not going to use the punch too, too much in the, in the speed run, but there's a couple times where it's important. Okay, I gotta get used to not using the right stick as camera. I gotta get my hands off of that. Camera, it just takes some time. Are you basically the goaded camera position is usually C down, which C is down. right stick down. Okay, so you so never that use always the behind okay. behind Mario at the greatest distance possible. There, but there are gonna be some times that the camera is gonna need to be moved and it's gonna irritate you. But that's just. That's just how it goes. Okay. <laughs> you just get used to it over time. <laughs> okay, and C down. Okay, so we yeah, say so C. That, that gives okay. you the best angle. Yeah, C down will always, it'll pull you back to this. Okay. All right. Can you teach me this? Uh, this is the, the 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 ivory tower. How do, we, how do we do ivory tower here? I don't even know what you're asking me. When you jump you on the banister so that. Oh, don't just, worry yeah. about that. It's an advanced level <laughs> technique. On, don't worry about that just yet. <laughs> Give me calculus. Theory, yeah. Okay, like I've I've already triggered Lakitu, so you okay. you won't be able to see it on on mine. But you, okay. in theory, you're gonna like long jump on the right here. You're okay. gonna try to line it up so that Mario's, uh, the midpoint of his overalls is exactly over the left edge of the bridge. Okay. Then you would long jump onto the bridge, and then you would long jump again, in order to not trigger Lakitu. That would save you like, ten seconds. Okay. It's not meaningless, but it, it's not relevant, I would say, to a uh, 
to a, a speed run at your level yet. By the way, don't Mario Cam is when you hit R, you go to Mario Cam instead of Lakitu Cam. So you almost always want to be on Lakitu Cam. That's one thing. Oh. If, if the bottom right is Mario Pog, you got it all wrong. You want to see Lakitu Pog. Okay. And when you say C down, are you saying the the D pad down or the stick down for that Mario? Would be right stick towards yeah. your body okay so like real quick this is just a, an early strat like when i'm running yeah. how do i get the camera to lock behind them because it's just uh, it doesn't really lock uh -huh. so you would just flick the right stick to the right or the left to position it behind them oh so you got it you're controlling a camera and mario yeah it, okay. i mean the camera is like one of the one of the things you gotta learn it's one of the biggest parts of the learning curve for sure okay but you just you get used to it and then like after a few runs you're like you just know where it's supposed to be you do a couple of flicks and you're good to go oh well, that's some new tech okay all right so do i have to do i have to jump on the banister like quick or just is it just more about placement uh it's more about placement but okay. it would benefit you to be a little faster as well okay and is there a speed button or no there's no it's all momentum okay. but the sh movement is crazy like this game has some of the most fluid sh movement you're ever gonna see look at this he's going for oh, it oh missed uh, it that's honestly nobody makes the first jump the lack of do skip it's hard it's hard okay so you just you know mash past that then here's a little trick for you you always go through the left door it's a couple frames faster Really? I'm not, I'm not messing come with on. you. It's a, I'm telling you. Come on. You're, you're, you're sliding some memes in on me. I'm telling you. It's it's a time save. Okay. okay the, so is that, when's your star, first... Tell me when you hit your split button, too. The first split is after you get your first star. Okay. Which is in... Uh, the And it's one of the hardest stars in the game, okay? Okay. So, like, just just watch for a second as, as you dive into the painting here in... Okay. Uh, you want me to watch before I jump in the paint? Yeah, sure. Okay. So, okay. like, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to teach you how to do this yet but this is one of those advanced tricks that has like a limited hit rate but it does save you like 10 seconds when it works because this star is like omega annoying i can't believe i nailed that first try yo <laughs> the <laughs> okay so you picked up a bomb and just walked to the gate what what you actually do um, hold on, I think I have a, a good suspend point for this. So, you, most of the time, especially early, you're never gonna hit the bomb clip. So you could just ignore it. The first star comes from ground pounding on this log three times. Okay. It's legitimately, like, one of the most annoying stars in the game. So, you know, however long it takes, it takes. But you just try to get your shadow right over that log. And then you're gonna, uh, hit... You're gonna jump, you're gonna hit ZL, which will do a ground pound. Do it three times as fast as you can, then jump into the star, and that is split number one. Okay. How do I can I can I do the um the Shawshank Redemption one first? Can you show you me? You wanna how to try to do the bomb clip first? Yeah, okay. do it again on your screen and then talk me through what you're doing. I I can't reliably do it. So okay. like just saying do it again is <laughs> a little forehead, but okay. so you pick it up and then what? It almost worked. You have to explode um, yourself in there. So the way that in the way that it works in theory is you like long jump over here. You grab the bomb, which triggers like its countdown to explode. Yeah. You jump and then jump and drop on the same frame. Do a quick 180. Pick up the bomb <laughs> as it's growing in size, which gives you an incredible movement bonus. Okay. Hit down on the analog stick for like one eighth of a second throw the bomb at the exact moment you make contact with the bars and the physics push you through the bars and into the star Got i it. would i do don't get stun locked on this there's a lot okay. of other stuff that it, it will benefit it looks you a lot easier than you described <laughs> but this is you right now doing this right not a video this is me but i'm not like i only did it once successfully and honestly that was kind of a miracle so the first like, I, I could you... go 15 minutes never hitting this again well or i could just do it on the first try but you know <laughs> got it so you pick it up and then you throw it away from the jail and then re-pick it up i'm just trying to distill not... it in a first grade vernacular i would this is one of those things where i would say don't even concern yourself it's if, like your first day in the gym and and you're like hey how do i do like a, a goblet squat on a bosu ball it's not necessary at, at the current level Okay, just show me one more time, though. You would long jump over. Yeah. You grab the bomb with B. Okay. A, A, B, turn around, grab it, 
down on the stick, throw the bomb. Okay. It's just that easy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the odds of us hitting this on the first try are like one in the, probably 5,000, right? Yeah, but okay. it would be amazing for sure. That's okay. okay. I'm watching here. Right. This is a good time to practice some schmovement as well. You know, like you, you would not, not that one. Hey, you don't want to, hey, well, look at that. The, the frame loss, frame loss. <laughs> Okay, so you can like long jump a lot to save time. So when you're moving, yeah, there you go. You might get stuck on some The movement takes a bit to learn. You're gonna ground pound instead of long jump a lot. It happens. Okay. It's fine, you can just ride that thing up. Now B, pick it up. Yeah, you're gonna B, pick it up. Reverse, A and back. A, A, B, back, grab. Oh, you know, so you're like it, stalling it. It, it took me like 20 minutes of practice just to get it for the first time, and I had the movement a little bit more down. Got it. So here you ground pound. Yeah, so you're just going to ground pound that three times. You, it, I'm telling you, this is legit annoying. So like if you if you die once or twice, don't even sweat it, man. Like this. So I, I still reset runs here constantly. Really? The, cam the camera is not exactly your best friend here. Do you, but you just, <laughs> what the heck? I'm t I did, yeah. Legitimately, once you get better at the speedrun, this is one of the hardest stars. Like, the, the reason that bomb clip is so, which is that little trick, the reason it's so nice is because you don't have to go through that nonsense trying to, like, line up the shadow. Got it. I see what you're doing. Okay. So, like, and for you, what's your accuracy on shadow lining? Uh, like, 25%. Okay. So, it's, that's even pretty, fairly difficult, too. Yeah, like the, it's it, technically in in many ways it's kind of harder to do the star the right way, and it's very difficult to dodge the the chain chomp. Usually you eat a, a hit or two. And smashes. What's the smash uh, button? ZL, the same button as long jump, but okay. in the air. That's pretty good. <clears throat> I'm telling you, it actually gets a lot easier after this. Okay, let me pull this guy out. Pull strats. And you don't really mess with the camera. You could, but. Man, this yeah, is I mean, sometimes I get yelled at, like, uh, you know, to use come on, come the on. camera during this. You piece. Because it's it, it burns clock by doing that? No, I just don't know how to use the camera. It's like, uh, uh, <laughs> the camera in this game is like a disaster. <laughs> Ch Chad's saying, should I do a save state so because so I don't keep losing yeah, all my Yeah, you guys. can. Uh, honestly, like, uh, you, you could, like, uh, hit minus and then create suspend point. That's kind of nice. Dude, honestly, like, it's not as efficient as the emulator, don't get me wrong, but the setup time is, like, zero, so... <laughs> yeah, so, that was, like, my first interaction with, uh, Chibli. He's like, hey, here, you know, I, I said yesterday, I'm like, hey, does anyone have the the, 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 the tech to set up the emulator? He's like, yeah, he's, he's like, here's a link to everything. I'm like, oh, I appreciate that. I click on the link, and it's, like, this three-page guide. And then the guide said, oh, this guide's outdated. Click this link. It takes you to like an unsafe <laughs> website. And then it takes you to like a medium a GitHub website. And you got to download seven things and then change all the RAM particulars. I'm like, ah, I'm just going to go home and get my Switch. But I appreciate it. Oh, yo, time and split. Oh, you got it? Okay, let's go. Okay, so don't, you split. You, I split at least when when the star fades out to zero. So like okay. after you pick up the star, he does like a little animation. And then the black screen will fade into the middle, and then when it's there, you hit the the split. Got it. Okay. All right. Now I gotta now let me get the star because I gotta okay. tell you what to do next. Maybe maybe one last bomb clip for the road. Yeah. So like that one, like legit, don't even sweat it. Like, the chain chomp star is just annoying. Okay. Watch me. Wait. One thing you can do is you can literally, like, as soon as you get on that thing, just ground pound like your life depends on it. Like, you don't need to wait for an animation to finish or anything. You can just send it. But this star, like, I think if you ask, you know, Justin, if you ask Chibli, if you ask Apollo, they'll probably tell you it's one of the most annoying stars in the game. Excuse me? As you, uh, you know, check this out. This is called a side flip. Yahoo! T tell me when you hit the split, because I'm watching your screen. Right now when it goes complete black or when it just you know within like a like the 0.5 second window when it's coming to black okay i try to time it exactly but it's a fool's errand okay okay so your your next the, the meat of the speed run for a little bit is right here you're going all the way down to this door near the front right of the castle is a one star door okay lots of fun tricks in here 
<clears throat> this is Womp's Castle. I oh, think. is this a, is this a split or no? Not okay. not until you get five stars in this level. Okay. So the next split is five stars in. So you're gonna dive into the painting. How do you dive? Dive is when you're running, jump and then hit the punch button, which is B. B. Okay. It's, it's a very useful technique, actually. Okay. Okay. So first star, you're gonna love this. We're gonna learn some new stuff. You're gonna okay. climb up this tree. The way pole mechanics work in Mario, like a tree or a pole or anything like that, you never want to go to the tippy top. Okay. Because sometimes he like pirouettes on the top. Then if you jump, you go exactly where the back of your head is pointing. Okay. So you always want to jump, like, and then add the direction you want to go. Yeah. Okay. So you always jump like inverted 180 from how you're you're facing. So this star, you just walk down this ramp down okay. here. And we're going to learn something that's very useful because we're going to use it for multiple stars called a side flip. Okay. So the way the way a side flip looks is like this. Ooh, right you there. look like Ninja Guy Dan. <laughs> so what what you do, the, the process is you're going to do a big jump. And, whoa, what the heck? He just did it. I'm No, no, we got to get a couple more, right? Yeah, you got to get like five more stars. Okay. I still look you did it. I still think just to have the process in your head matters. So you you basically you face the wall you want to bounce off of. You turn 180 run a bit and then you just bounce off the wall. I'm okay. I'm stunned. This this guy is cracked. So just so you know, like I use this little like brick line here as like as my lineup for the future. But we're oh, going to be doing some more of that. Oh, that's important. In the okay. So so the like first you did line. it, you, you almost did it so fast. You kind of like made life harder for yourself in the future. But uh, that's like that's an easy star to get. That that one's real consistent. Okay. Then we're jumping back in. Then you jump back in. Okay. okay. So this one, you this is like the superstar of like. I I don't want to say low skill, but you know what I mean. Like your first couple of runs, this is gonna blow your mind. You're gonna come up here. Take your time. This movement's a little a little tricky. We're gonna learn a star called Cannonless. Okay. So the way that I do Cannonless, there, there's really, as far as I know, there's no way around learning this series of instructions that you have to memorize here. Okay. You're gonna do some actions. You're gonna do some camera tricks, and then a star is gonna clip through the earth, and you're just gonna grab it. What? <laughs> but it's actually it's actually easy, honestly. Okay, I'm, I'm trying the to... The other thing... Yeah, yeah. oh no, it's I'm no trying sweat. to smooth too much. The other thing is, uh, if you get low on HP, coins heal you too. Okay, that's... I'm gonna need that. Mm. Okay. So just cross... Yeah, cross the bridge. Okay. Yeah, okay, make sure your camera is like mine. I think you gotta see down. Okay. There you go. Then, I just, uh, usually... And I, I wouldn't mimic this just yet, but I, like, run across, try to fall off and grab right around here. So you're basically just running and then yeeting close to the end. Okay. I'm watching you while I'm, while I'm like, autopilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this is, like, one where you basically just have to memorize it. So I want to make sure we're on the same page okay. here. But this also took me, like, forever to actually learn it myself the first try as well, so... I learned this via text the first time, so like, it's doable. It's not as hard as it might seem. Okay. So was there like a coin where you're like, oh, after the second coin, if I just drop off, like... This this part doesn't really matter that much as long as you're grabbing the edge. Okay. So I, I think just... You, 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 oh, you're on it. Okay. So then you're going to hit uh, up on the left stick. Hold on. Chat, tell me gonna... make a save state. I think they're probably... That's, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay. okay. Up, up on the left stick. Yeah. Huh? Did you? Okay, you're up. Um, then you're gonna jump and move a little bit to the left as you jump, a few times. Eventually, you'll bump into that plank and it'll push you into the perfect spot. So you keep just jumping, moving to the left. You'll collide with the plank. Okay. Okay. Then you're gonna just down on the left stick slowly until you're hanging. Okay. And you're gonna get up again with uh, just pressing up. <clears throat> you're gonna hold ZL okay. and press jump. So you do that Simone Biles there. Okay. You're gonna punch once with B. What? You're gonna move the right stick to the left two times. To the left. Okay. Then you're gonna. 
press down a little on the left stick. So you creep to the edge until you're hanging. Okay. Then you're going to go right, left on the right stick real quick. <laughs> well, on the left stick? On the left stick. Oh, God, I got to do that again. I, that knocked me off. Doing right, left. On the left. I I th I've, oh, I've, I'm on the camera stick. Yes, the, the stick that's on the right side of the controller. I thought you not, said left not stick. Not the correct stick. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me reload it. Okay, so I'm back to hanging, Marty. I go all the way to the right. Oops. Okay. No, you go all the way to the left. Left, sorry. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna get up. Mm -hmm. You're gonna jump, move a little bit to the left. Eventually, the plank's gonna push you. If you end up on the plank, just move a little bit to the right, and you'll be good. Okay. So you're it's done for you. Yeah, I'm I'm like where you are. Okay, you're gonna go down slowly okay you're gonna go up and then your z l and a to do the the jump Z L. you keep turning and i think the turning is gonna make it impossible because like the texture lineup has got to be pretty good here okay so i i would yeah i would i would probably start from the suspend point again so i come up and then i jump and try to get pushed a little bit yeah the the plank push is is just to get you in the perfect position so you, your your guy like I think you have to jump and then move to the left, not left then jump. Oh, I it's got causing it. it's causing your Mario to turn a little bit. Okay, Mario no turn people. Okay, perfect. Mario no turn. That was good intel. Okay. Okay, so then you go down slowly until you're hanging. Okay. Up. You're gonna crouch and then do your your Simone Biles jump. And I hit when I, I just hit jump or do I hit a, a arrow key as well? Just jump. Okay. It'll push you backwards till you land on the ramp. Okay. The, the bridge. Simone. Then you're gonna hit uh, punch, which is B. Okay. Left on the right stick two times. Okay, this is where I lost it last time. So this is camera, left. So two how times. do I call it camera stick? Camera sure. stick. Camera stick what direction? Left two times. Okay. Okay. Then light down on the left stick so that you walk to the edge like creep to the edge you're gonna hang okay then you're gonna do camera right camera left okay good Why, then this what's the part, point you of that do them you gotta do we're at the last step okay then you just go up and then on the left stick and down hard as soon as you hit up so it's literally just up down and then you'll fall perfectly into that texture right there okay so just up down and then keep holding down and i don't have to jump or anything just up down just up down okay ladies and Look gentlemen <laughs> who found that wizardry <laughs> all right dude honestly what I think is I, that? it's worth it's worth loading the split doing it one more time yeah just yeah because now it's like, for me, it's muscle memory. I got it all locked in. But the first, like, five times, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing at all. Okay. So, so But this is, this is like one else. I'll, I'll, the next save state, I'll keep this one. Because this one you got to do a couple times, right? Yeah, but the, but the beauty of it is once you, like, commit it to memory, it's done. Like, the, you, this, you'll never miss this start. Or not, not very often, at least. So there you go. Your plank push. You creep down. You get up. You do the Simone Biles. backward split, Simone Biles. Camera you right, punch. camera left. Oh, I forgot the punch. You punch. It's okay. Camera left once for you. Okay. Now, uh, right there. I don't know if it'll still work, but then you creep down. Then you're going to do right, left camera. Okay. An up, down, smash. And up, down, smash. Yeah. It didn't even work for me, but it worked for you. <laughs> the Simone Biles. I like that. Okay. All right. All right. Can let, you imagine me... finding that? Like, who found that? There's that. That has to be named after the person that found it. It's named after the thing you don't use to get it, which is strange. But uh, I, I've remarked the same thing many times in this in this speed run. Is like, who who came up with that's this, like, man? like Bunsen? He, you made the Bunsen burner. It should be called after you. That's like if if I invented backwards long jumps, they would not be called backwards long jumps. <laughs> they would be called like the the NL slide or something. But I like oh, that's nice. cool. Like that's that feels like you're speed running when you do that, and, yeah. dude. Once you get that one like on muscle memory and you input it all in like half a second, you're gonna be <laughs> like, oh man. 
Okay. All right. So you go back in. We got uh, three more stars here. Is that called cannonless? That's cannonless. That is that is cannonless. Okay. So you go up the tree here. Okay. All stars but one star with up the tree. Okay. And then you go up this ramp. Okay. Now there's an easier way to do this, but I'm gonna teach you the the reliable way. And if it takes a bit to learn, so be it. I think it'll pay dividends later. Okay. So as you, there's two ways to do this. As you round the corner, you can do one, two, three, wall kick and dive and get up here. Okay. You, it's, okay. it's tricky for one. So like, I, give yourself a little patience here. This took me a while to, to get right. Okay. And let me, let me watch you do it. And yeah, don't worry about the camera too much. Okay. It's, it, the camera's just, Legit terrible. <laughs> oh, okay. You were kind of, you were kind of up there. So the the at the end of the triple jump, you do have to do a dive, um, which okay. is the B button. Okay. So you want just for reference, you want your triple jump to hit like right around there, okay. like around close to the seam between like the triangle and the and the flat part. Okay. And then your dive is gonna be like real quick. But this this is not necessarily like the easiest thing to do. Okay. Like I'm not I'm not even hitting it consistently here, so. Gonna leave a little bit early, I think. When do you do you jump from behind the yellow? Your first jump? I jump like right around like as I'm coming up, I turn the corner where like the sign is. Okay. And then I uh and then I hit the jump buttons. Okay. I, I think, like, like, yeah, because I'm, I'm watching. I think Chad might be right. I don't, don't hold the first jump. Just tap it. Okay. It's gonna be like tap, tap, hold on the triple. Oops. That's that's good feedback, Chad. Thank you. Thanks, Chad. It might even be tap, hold, hold, but. Okay. So turn. No, it is more like tap, tap, hold. <clears throat> Give me a second here. I mean, I'll do you like a, yeah, yeah, a the, couple I'm, more cracks at this? Because there is, a, yeah. Well, yeah, I can show you. Like, like let's say you're standing like at the triangle. I think yeah. it would look like, like tap, tap, hold, and then I, I just hit the wall kick too late. Okay. It would be like a tap, 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 jump, uh, kick dive, and then you're on this thing. Okay, I got. Well, you. Oh no, I died. <laughs> Okay, well, I think I'll, I can I'll meet get you. this. Take, take a little practice. I'll, I'll meet you back there. I don't, I'm just going to do cannonless again just to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> There's another way, too. Like, if you prefer the side flip, it's. I, I think it's mostly, like, a matter of preference. Um, but you can side flip right there the same way you got that first star. Wall mm -hmm. kick and dive in order to do the same thing. I just find the triple jump, like, a little bit more consistent for me okay but either way like learning this this movement is gonna help you a lot okay it's the the main like once you learn the stars that oh, oh. You, i think if you if you dived at the right time there that would have been it is that it an early it. dive or late dive it's a super early dive. okay okay I can get that. Oh, you piece. So I got you. Got to be more in the crevasse. Okay. Too high. Too low. Too low. It's alright. Take your time. Yeah, I think that there's there's something not right with the run up uh, as well. Do I like, need to be get more more heat? <clears throat> it seems like instead of doing a triple jump, mm -hmm. you're doing like jump double jump like, like your second jump is not because like, the way that it's breaking yeah yeah the okay. way that the triple jump is supposed to work is like while you're moving your second jump is timed like right as you hit the ground and you get a, a little extra height and then your third jump will be like super high oh yippee is when he says yippee is that you did it right let me see i don't know i, do, I don't hear anything anymore oh, okay. i just see ones and zeros okay 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 <laughs> It's Yahoo. It's Yahoo. Oh, I'm gonna, what's, I wonder what <laughs> Yippie is. Okay. It's definitely Yahoo. 
And you can do the side kick, uh, the side flip as well. So like, you can try the triple jump once, and if you don't, uh, yeah, if we don't if get it, move on to the next it, one. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like the side flip is is it's just as good. Maybe it's slightly slower, but you might side flip might be a little easier for somebody playing the game for like the first time. Yeah, let me let me side flip it. So I would say for the side flip, you basically face the wall at like where the triangle polygon meets the square mm -hmm. polygon, like right up against it. And then you're going to do a very similar thing to what you did on that first star. You're going to walk or run in the opposite direction, kick off the wall and, okay. and dive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, like, that I seems can... way easy. Like I'll be able to hit that easier. But you're saying Honestly, maybe long it's... run, it may not be the move. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think like the other thing is that the side flip is is useful in like many parts of the game. So okay. so learning it, you know, it's not like I wouldn't just consider it a backup plan necessarily. Okay. I've killed this piranha plant like 15 times. It's uh, also like, I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I used to probably fail this jump like 60% of the time. Now I'm hitting it like every time. Okay, he's up. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, so let, let me get up there. Hold on, I got cursed camera, cursed camera. Okay, now that you're up, you're gonna long jump over to thwomp level here. Okay. And then just uh, watch for a second. It's probably easier to watch. Okay. To kill this guy, when he's about to drop, you basically just jump, ground pound, clip through his body and you'll land on his back and, and hurt him right when he's about to jump that's when you jump so like if, yeah watch the timing for a second okay he he stops for a second when he's about to attack that's when you jump and ground pound and okay. the the timing window is pretty is pretty generous okay chat saying to spend point probably a good idea okay you can, yeah you can jump at the same time that he's ready to attack Okay. A little faster, obviously. Faster than that, okay. Hmm. And then you're you're gonna ground pound a little faster for sure. When you ground pound, does it clip you through? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like he basically like hits nothing, and then you're already on the backside of him doing damage. Uh. Okay, that's not it. This one's another one. Once you do it like two times, you'll never, you'll never forget. Hmm. Yeah, faster than that. Okay. For sure. Leave faster or ground pound hmm. faster. Probably both, honestly. Okay. Uh. There you go. Let's go. Hmm, that's a beast. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta play in your mind's eye because the camera will screw you. I think okay. you're a little too close to him too. Okay. If that happens, you can jump on his back and hit him once. Okay, let me, let me try again. So, when he's about to jump, you jump, and then you pound. Oh, you piece. So you, yeah, you're, I think you're, you're just slightly late on the jump, and then pound as soon as possible. Okay. And too close. You don't have to get so close. To him. Okay. But that one worked, so you know, there you go. Do you stay works, still after that? I, I try to jump around the side of him so he's ready to attack again okay. soon. I mean, so this saves like a couple frames. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think so. Okay, I'm super late on this. <laughs> it well, it looks cool too. I, I've, I've like I've seen a bunch of your runs. I'm like, that looks like your speed run. Come on, you and and ZL is the pound. Okay, let me try. Again. ZL is the pound. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When his arm raised, you jump. Okay. Okay, you piece. I think you could even do earlier than that, okay. honestly. Okay. Give me one. You piece. All right. Okay. Like it's it's very rare to be too early. Okay, I got you. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna, I'll just kill this guy again. So then you you can get us, uh, basically, you wanna be on that green circle island that we side flipped to last time. Okay, so, so you get can, back there. You can try to repeat the same thing. Okay. A lot of this stuff in the game relies on like, you know, the same, the same tricks to get back. So there's a lot of like repeatable stuff. Okay, I'll meet you up there. 
This next one, it, it has two difficulty options. You know, you could get up there the cool way that you're doing right now, and then take the easy path that like all the five-year-olds did in 1996, which is what I did for a long time, honestly. Or you can do one extra side flip and pog people up. Okay. But we'll, we'll wait till we get up there. Oh, peace. So this is, you got to get some mo in this, huh? The momentum is so important, but like honestly, I fought against the sh movement for like a long time. Now that I understand the sh movement, I'm like, I I think in Mario 64 like when I'm driving. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna long jump maybe camera right once. Okay. And then long jump over to that uh, top of the tower. Okay. On the left side, there is a non-moving platform. Like the one just to your left. Okay. Yeah, and then just get on it. Okay. And then the way this this is the hardest side flip of the game up to this point. If you want to do it the cool way, just watch. You're gonna okay. do almost like a hockey stick from right to left on your side flip to get enough momentum to grab that platform way above you. So okay. it looks something like something like Ooh. this so it's this, and this one's tricky for sure but i think it does make sense to learn it yeah give me that so one you, again i got you full screeny oh yeah you want as much left momentum as possible so you're going to start your side flip further on the right and then you're going to go to the left hit that side flip on the wall and then and then bring it back like that okay and I would say maybe camera where you're at right now. That's perfect. Is that okay. but C down if it's not already C down? Okay. Give me it one more time. Let me see one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're gonna go like along this wall, then out, side flip. It, it won't land every time. You should probably make a suspend point too if you haven't already. Okay. But the the real trick is that right to left, so that you're always getting as much left momentum as you need to to get the the wall grab. Okay. Like even your side flip almost is not like perpendicular. Like it's gonna be like a like a cursive writing O. Oh. <laughs> okay. You do it like a little almost like a loop where you come out to the uh you come out to the right ever so slightly and then you hard left. Okay, I got you. So you come out, you go whoop. Dude, that looks pretty good. I think I think maybe an earlier wall kick. Okay, so you go. Okay, okay. Then anytime you're hanging on a ledge, it's just A to get up. Okay. You just ride it up, and okay. then you can uh, you can grab this star. Okay. All right. Is that number five? Is that split? Not split okay. yet. Okay. 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 That dude, honestly, you, that's super quick. You got that insanely fast. I got a good coach. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Now, this one is the only one you start in the tree, but you don't go one level up from there. Okay. So you just you go up the tree till this owl comes out. <laughs> what? That, honestly, if you watch it once, you'll probably just get it. Okay. You find the owl shadow, hold the jump button. And as long as you're holding it, you'll grab him. He'll take you up to the stratosphere. Then you're just going to use left stick to steer the owl onto this star that's near the green island, you're gonna drop when you're close and ground Except pound onto it. Pokes. Now I missed, so don't you, don't look. Use the camera hey, stick? Please get some day no, packs, the left stick, the, the movement He keeps stick. dropping me, you piece. You gotta hold the jump oh, button. Oh, hold it, okay. Okay, so you shadow, shadow jump. Yeah, jump onto him and, and Hold the jump button, okay. then you're gonna steer. When you think you're on Welcome top of the star, decoy codes gifted the star a tier one the sub to the McNuggets. They have given 16 gift subs in the channel. Let's go. Oh, on the cage. Yeah, yeah okay. near the like that floating green island. Okay. And then if you ever miss, yeah, the owl just you you come back here and the owl comes back in like two seconds. Okay. 
So you just fly up, you steer a little, it's like your movement stick is gonna go to the right a little bit. And then you're just gonna fly on top of this and try to ground pound on top of the star. There's a little learning curve associated with it, but you'll, you'll figure it out. Okay. Go this way. Not really it's listening little, to me. You, you steered a little too much, I think, on that one. Okay. There it is. You, there, oh, 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 not, oh, 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 you can, oh, okay. Oh. Okay, I, I, it gives you a shadow too, okay. Is that, is that time? Is that split? There, that would be split, yeah. Okay, what do you call, what do you call that split? That split for me is Thwompland. Okay. All right, I'm good. Okay. So you're already, like, you're close to halfway through the speed run, honestly. Already? Yeah. Okay. So then you just, like, you know, exit the room. You could take the stairs. You could double jump over that center platform. You could jump and dive. Anything works. Okay. Then you're going to go to this three-star door that's on the left level here, on the okay. far left. This is cool, cool world. Okay. Is this, is this good? Is this classic music? There's some great music. I believe this is. Okay. Okay. So I would make a suspend point like immediately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this might be the best star in the game. At least the most fun star in the game. Okay. So. Once you get in here, just watch this. I mean, I know you've seen it, but you you can just get yourself up here. One double jump will get you up here if you do it right. You grab the penguin with with the punch button. Okay. You know, yeah, we can do it at the same time here. So the penguin, he's a little slippery. Whoa, what a grab. Okay. So come close to the edge, but don't fall off. And I, I would say you want your camera to be like this. The okay. way I got it right here. Okay. I would say, yeah, that's pretty, yeah, 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 right there, okay. Okay. So then you're gonna jump off, and it's almost like a little bit of a trust. So okay. I'll do it all at once, and I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay. And then you can maybe make the suspend point right there. Okay. You, this is a good one to practice over and over. So as you jump off here, there is a white sloping platform we can't see right now, but if you land on it, it gives you incredible momentum. You're going to hold right as you land on it. You're going to keep sliding. You're going to bounce off another slope that's facing the opposite direction, and the penguin's going home to mommy, just okay. like this. You land on that, right, 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 right. Land on this, straight forward, straight, straight, straight. Penguin's going home to mommy. Yo, it's like Jay's uh, Counter-Strike Go knifing stuff. It, it is, it's surf. <laughs> okay. It's, it's CSGO surf. Okay. So you, you're going to jump... You, while jumping off, you're going to be moving kind of like upright. You're looking to land on the white snowy part. Then you're going to go right, 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 right. I would say that was a good landing, but maybe what I don't see anything on your screen anymore. Yeah, it was. <laughs> maybe, maybe it was a little too much momentum. I, I would say you could do a smaller jump at the start. Okay. Good, right, right. Oh, I don't know why. You, maybe, maybe even that was too much as well. Oh, so it's just, you a damage, just, just, just a tiny, just a tiny, huh? Little, little, little tippy tap will probably give you enough. Then right, 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 right. Then forward, no jumps. Oh, no jumps. Well. Okay. You just yeah, trust only, it. You just the first jump, and the okay. rest is all just CS:GO in, knifing. Yeah, it's it's God's plan. There you go. Oh. That <laughs> is close. <laughs> the poor kid. Okay. So if you're too far to the left, you hit the wall. If you're too far to the right, you hit like a little wind, uh, I don't even know what you call it, like a... Gusty? Uh, yeah, like a gust of wind, then Mario just drops the kid and goes wahoo. So you gotta, you gotta be lined up. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Okay, I like Let's that go. one. Is that a split? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> not, not a split, but like that's... That's one of the highlights of the run for sure. Yeah, that's a fun that. one. <laughs> and it, again, once you once you learn, it's easy. There's like you know, you have to learn like two inputs to do this. Okay. There's no problem. 
So on the next one, you go back into Cool Cool World. This one honestly looks really cool as well. Cool Cool World is like, when you do it at its best, it's like under one minute long. Okay. Okay, so just watch the, the start of this one. What you're gonna do, you're basically gonna run, I would say at like a, like a 10 p.m. angle. Okay. Welcome, brand new you're gonna jump before you touch this white stuff. You're gonna keep <laughs> pressing. <laughs> You're gonna keep pressing away from the level. Okay. I, yeah, I would definitely make a suspend point for sure. Okay. You're gonna press away from the level, and then you're gonna, when you get very close to crossing that first little rock outcropping, you're gonna pull it back hard. Okay. Towards the level, and then just. In advance of the platform you're gonna land on, you're gonna press the punch button, which will kick in the air and give you just enough momentum to land on this. So punch button, that the only thing you gotta do is punch button. It, it's all movement except the punch button. Okay. Okay. All right, let so me you're go. gonna do 10, 10 p.m. run, jump before the snow. Okay. Use air control to move away from the level, then pull it back. You can do it from here, too. It's just a little touchier. So it's the same exact principle. Okay. I think it's a little too much away, but that's... I mean, it's hard. Did I make... I don't think I made a save point. Shoot. That's okay. You could always do the penguin once more. If you, and... I, I mean, if you game over, like, it honestly doesn't matter right now. It matters a little bit later. Okay. <laughs> but it... Doesn't matter that much right now. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah, just it, plus, plus you get I mean, CS this is go. a fun one to practice yeah. too. I'm gonna make my own suspend point too. Look at that. Ooh, little, That's a good one. Hard stopper. But. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever like gotten close and like did you edge walk and then did you slide off the edge? Yeah, or, like <laughs> the penguin will go like one pixel off the edge and just fall into oblivion. Like it's it's good stuff. Do you smash the space bar then to restart the run? <laughs> yeah. You know you can hear the speed runners smash the. Jeez, come on, I, I had it. And then you're smack, smack, Ooh. smack. All right, let me let me save point this one. All right, so I think like one the first thing I would say is don't go so lateral. Like just, just watch the way I do it. Maybe 10 p.m. was more of an exaggeration. It's kind of it's yeah, closer to it. like it's closer to like straight left. Okay. You jump off like right there, start pulling it back, <laughs> hit the air jump, and I'm alive. When did you punch? Because I couldn't see. Uh, let me let me bring up the suspend point again. I'll I'll try to narrate it. So I go, I jump. Okay. Pull it back. I punch. Okay, punch when you're Almost just like, invisible. Yeah, basically when I disappear. Okay. Exactly. Oh, you okay, peeved. so that one that was right on the borderline of working. It just pulled back a little too a little too soon. That looks fantastic. Oh, okay. okay. And once this happens, just press R twice to reset your camera to sanity. Just like the the R button on your controller, not the, the oh, okay. right stick. Press it one more time to get the Lakitu. Camera. Okay. There you go. Okay. So I would say, that, I mean, again, there's two ways to do this, okay? So you're going to come up here. You can just run and jump off the wall. Let's go. And, uh... Yeah, you might need a little more momentum if you miss the first one. Got it. Okay. There you go. So you could do this. You can go, like, one, two, three, jump off, the, jump off that wall, and you'll land on the platform where the star is. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's probably like the easiest way to do it at the start is just like a one, two, three. But if you prefer the side flip to the triple jump, as you have so far, you could do a side flip off this wall, kick, and then land on this thing. Okay. And then that's the star. Gotcha. So you gotta, if you want to kick flip, your back's got to be to the wall. So you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you start facing the wall. Then you turn, or you run in the opposite direction of the wall, turn around, wall kick off it, and then you're up. I would do it a little higher up too, like closer okay. to the top of the ramp. Uh. 
So you start facing the wall. Yeah. Yeah, that's Why? a side flip, and then just faster. If you ever hear Mario hit the wall and go like, uh. Yeah. It means you gotta, you hit the button too late. Got it, okay. okay. I think that that's good, but I, I think it has to be higher on the ramp again. Okay. You're right, there is some lewd stuff on the wall. I never noticed. 35 things from children's movies from the 80s you can't <laughs> unsee now as an adult. Higher up? It's good. Yeah, you gotta be a little higher up. Let me find something like that. I wanna be near that pearl right there. Okay, let's try that. It's it's fairly generous. I Also, I would camera right once, probably. Okay. Just so you're like perpendicular with the wall. Hey, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just basically what? use movement in the air and not fall off, but it's it's a little forehead. Hmm. Should it automatically like you, grab? Um, or that yeah. means I'm not jumping the right spot. Oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's a little touchy at times. Okay, yeah, once you're on the wall, mm -hmm. uh, once you're on the ledge, and this is true at every section of the game, just hit A once to come back up. A once, okay. It's it's A to get up or ZL to get down. Both, both end up being relevant because you'll find yourself getting stuck to stuff you don't expect. That, that uh is, is good. That means I need to yeah. spam a little faster. I'm always late on mine, too. Hmm. Too well, low? Just keep trying it. Like, the side flip, it just it just takes some practice. I did the triple jump for a long time as well. I, I think they're both roughly equivalent. It's just whatever you're, like, more comfortable with. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to go back to the well on this one. So otherwise, you're saying just do, do triple jump off the wall. Yeah, One. the third jump will be at the end of that ramp, and then you're gonna... I lived. Um, you're gonna... Oh, you're up! Yeah, yeah. and then basically, the, once you get up, it's like, you know... It's in Mario's hands at that point. You could slow walk across the platform. You could long jump across the platform, but like... It's a little touchy. I personally would recommend taking it slow to begin with, but... Okay. Hmm, okay. So if you don't string the three jumps, you get no no sauce. Yeah, the triple jump is it's pretty important at a couple points in the game. Okay. It's good to know for sure. The side flip is maybe more important, at least for some parts, but So when you get to the the bridge. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can There's two ways you could do it. Now remember you've got a little bit of influence in Mario in the air. Okay. You could get a little running start and do a long jump like that yeah. over to the platform. Uh, or you could just Dark Souls and Orlando it and walk slowly across the bridge. If you ever fall onto the ledge, remember you just hit A to get up. Do you change camera if you Dark Souls it? I I do. Um, but I, this is like I wouldn't use my advice here. Okay. <laughs> like, it, it, I... I mean, I would go Lakitu cam slow walk like this, just giving you time to adjust if it goes wrong, because it is icy. Got it. I see. So this is one of those ones like this could this is not going to win your run, but it could kill your run if you miss this one. I would say the, the first couple of, you know, the, the few seconds that it adds are not going to make or break, you know, your, your first 100 speed runs, probably. Got it. But, it, you know, it's faster is always better. <laughs> okay. This one's a little touchy for sure. I don't even do the long jump on that one most of the time. What do you do on then, this one? Uh, so that one, you well, I, I usually slow walk. Make sure you, you yeah, hit R twice okay. in order to get the camera back. You got it. Then you bounce off the wall. You can triple jump. Your, your triple jumps are still, like, jump, double jump for some reason. Okay. There you go. I think that one, one was a triple. Two. Oh. That, was, that was beautiful. Just a late wall kick. Okay. Okay. So, you get up here like a piece. Okay. One, two... Peace. 
It was good, just a late uh, wall kick again, I think. Um, by the way, you can pick up that, that heart that's down there. Okay. If, as you run through it, you get HP. So you don't have to like stand on top of it. You just run through it at full speed, then it'll heal you. So okay. th this one's very forgiving if you if you mess up a few times. <laughs> you don't have. To, I'm not saying I've never died here, but you don't have yeah. to die here. Safe. Okay. All right, got you. So we get in trouble. Touch that, people. G. Give me a little side, Marty. One, two. That's that was only a one. One, two. There we go. Now, just be just this one since we're just just a little baby. A to get up. You just walk it. <laughs> oh, did it did it fall off? No, yeah, it fell off. It's just like it on it. It's so finicky. Like, can you sh oh, can you? Sh I'm watching your cam. Can you show me the Andor Landor jump? Yeah, first I'm gonna die real quick. Um. So like the jump from the, the the jump, not the walk. Yeah. Okay. I mean the jump, I think is is literally just uh, is ninety percent camera. Okay. And then a little bit of airish movement. So you get up here. Let me let me just bash my head on that real quick. You just go one, two, three. You just bash your head on that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the way I do it anymore. So like, hold on. Let me. Usually I just side flip up here. Okay, so you would be like on this. Mm -hmm. I would put the camera like, so you- I'm watching It's you. like a side scrolling game. Okay. Then you're just gonna run to the right and long jump. Ooh, I like that. And then that. I would say like, as soon as your feet touch the ground, jump again because you have more control in the air than you do on the ground. Okay. I got you. I think we, I, that looks hittable. More than this triple jump. And this is just this, this, this is a two star split, this world? Yeah. Okay, so let's get this one out of here. Oh man, the slide's still pretty annoying. Oh, there we go. Oh, the sh what the heck? It hit an invisible nothing. So you can pick up that heart again. Yeah, I should have done that. All as, right. as many times as, as as you like, honestly. Okay, hard up. It's the easy side hodl. One, two. That's weird. I, You know, that is something I got to work on is my trip jumps. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that, honestly. It's It's like a timing thing, I think. Chat saying, yeah, jump too late. Okay. Okay. We're ready to get, I'm ready to get out of Andor Landor. This one's, it, once you get it, like, it's not bad. It just is, the, the movement is a little touchy, you know, when you're, when you're first getting started. There we go. Okay, so this, this, you, I just want to do one grip it and rip it. And it's ZL. ZL is, yeah. the, is the launch jump? ZL is, is long jump, yeah. Okay. So you said you got your... Let me watch you do it. Let me see, let me okay, see your let Andor jump. Let me get jump. up there. Let me get up there real quick. The other thing, and Chad just told me this, it seems like an added layer of complexity, yeah. but it's actually easier. If you hit ZL as soon as you touch the ground after the long jump, it kills your momentum too. Okay. Which is good. So yeah. you can go like ZL jump, ZL. And then you're frozen, and then you uh, just... All right, let me save this one. That's new tech for me, too. Okay. So you line it up. How is that doing that? What did you... What happened? I didn't see it. It, it like, ground pounded. Oh, sometimes, like... You will just ground pound instead of jumping uh, from time to time. Okay. That was good. I would say make sure you're like straight on, like slow is fast when it comes to the camera, I guess. Okay. That that happens when you do ZL then A instead of ZL plus A. I saw that one. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. <laughs> Wait. So chat gave us new gave you new text. So when you're sliding, you spam ZL again. I, would, I wouldn't spam it. I would press it one time when you land. 
<laughs> okay, right when you land. Yeah, and okay. then it kills your momentum completely, and then you're on the star. Good. Ooh! Go! Oh! Okay. Go. And that's a split? That would be a split, yeah. Okay, split. Alright, that's right. it. That, that, that one we have then you will escape cool cool world okay i call it snow land but that's it's, it's all good and then uh there's there's a couple of ways you could play this one like here's this is where you get to flex a little bit in my opinion okay like if you wanted to be a coward you could like just go up these stairs right here but we don't speed run to be cowards so yeah. instead why don't you jump up over here on this railing mm -hmm. and then just do a side flip to go to it instead you know from now on you don't even need any uh you don't even need any stairs in your house okay so this is bowser one. Oh, this is when you tail flip them right this is this is the first tail flip so to start with i don't know if this is the way that the normal speedrunners do it i camera left two times at the start uh, you hit A once to get, yeah, then camera left so it's behind you. I just feel like I have more control over this, in, in this situation. <laughs> okay, so camera left, bang, bang, okay. And then, you you know, you just basically get to the end of this platform here. You, you can long jump, you can just walk if you want, but just stay alive for sure. Okay. Just, yeah, wait for the fire. Okay. I'm gonna, and then, yeah, just take those, uh, those blocks across. Okay. I'm just gonna say this is not the way that people do it, but this is the way I do it. So there's a technique in the game you use one, well, zero to two times. It's called a silly kick. Okay. <laughs> to get up this ramp, you can triple jump, but it, if you miss it the first time, I prefer the silly kick. You press basically A then B at the fastest speed you possibly can, and then you just keep hitting B like your life depends on it. I actually hold my controller with like, Instead of the thumbs on the buttons, mm -hmm. I put my middle finger on jump and my index finger on B, and then you go jump B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B and then you get to the top of this. Okay. Try to try to do it like almost you you almost hit the kick before you even jump. Okay. Like that it's they're that close together. And then you mash like your life depends on it. A, A, B. Oh, wait, sorry, you've got to you've got to hold uh, the jump button the whole time. Too. Okay. My bad. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the, the only thing you got to watch out for is you don't want to do one too many kicks and hit that wall at the top. Okay. That's it though. Okay, so you jump, then you kick, and then you keep doing it. Yeah. Oh, I got the wrong cam. Yeah, I would go back on Lakitu cam with the uh, R. Okay. There you go. Jump. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. you got to do. Okay, you do too many. You you bounce off the wall, people. G, I got. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is this is my kind of mash right here. All right, so you <laughs> you use it one more time pretty soon. Okay. It depends it depends on your preferences, but Tell me. I like it as a backup. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I wonder if I can side cam it. So you go jump, kick, not like that. Uh -oh, okay, uh -oh. now I see why you do what you do. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, it's this is a, a very good level to have a suspend point on, like permanently. Okay. Sometimes you ground, like I'm trying to long jump. Okay, you got to tap at the same time. Okay, so we go up here. A, so you hit at the same time. A and B and then just mash B. Yeah, make sure you're holding A too. Okay. Okay, that's tough because you don't know when to stop. How do you know when to stop mashing? I would say it just comes with like some practice. Like I, I okay. Once you get click, you you mash quick at the bottom, and then at the top you can mash a lot slower because you got that like tolerance. Okay, you're, you're almost there. So All then right. this, you're just gonna jump on one of these platforms, and you're just gonna jump across. 
I would say, uh, yeah, you might want a camera like, yeah, wh wherever the camera feels good, honestly. Okay. Okay. Get to the wood. Yeah, and then here, like, you can long jump, but this is kind of like, you know, when you're trying to improve your time, you might work on your, your movement here a little bit. For the most part, you kind of just got to walk up the the side here. Okay. Walk up the, the ramps. Like, a, my route for Bowser 2 is basically, or Bowser 1, is basically just, like, don't die. Just beat the level. Okay. Okay, so then on this, you, you can wait for the platform, or you can long jump from the end and just land in the middle. You can do it two ways, and then you're going to land on these. Okay. And you're just, you're, I mean, you're basically just beating Mario 64. Okay. So, once you get on the seesaw over here, I, I can just wait here for a second. Okay, I'm C. Once you get on this, whoa, well, no! <laughs> I've never, I've never had that happen before! Okay. Um, yeah, don't, don't get dumped like I did there. Holy cow. Hold on, I'll be, I'll be back in like okay. 10 seconds. Here. Oh, no, it's all good. I got Fall Guys, man. So like you can you can move. I'm I'm terrible at this level, just to be honest. But like, you can cut off you know ten seconds off your time with some some movement right here, without a doubt. Try not to hit the yellow block accidentally. Inevitably, it'll happen. But all right, I'm gonna um, be back in twenty seconds or so. <laughs> Check this out though. Wahoo! Fire can't hurt me. Where I'm going, fire can't hurt me. What's been your um, off stream time? Like, will you will you just dink around with us a little bit, work on some tech? A little bit, but like, I it's just been like the apocalypse over here. <laughs> it's, I, it's like, sometimes I'll even like, you know, by the time I finish YouTube stuff, looking after the baby, cooking like domestic chores, it might be like nine, and I go to bed at like literally nine thirty. Yeah. So. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I don't want to like blow out my my wrist like right before I go to sleep. <laughs> so you can jump off and then from there do a double jump and grab this. Okay. So just do it. Yeah, you're going to jump off once, then you're going to do a double jump on the next one. Okay. And straight jump, double jump straight. Yeah. Okay. And then you just grab, you hit A to get up. Then you can just jump across. You can hit the button and then you just climb the stairs but try not to grab the stairs if possible because okay. there is a timer associated sometimes then, like yeah. yeah i see you do tech where you like get down the hole faster yeah that's just like that's just sauce oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> so for bowser you know you just do tight circles around him okay. bowser one is pretty easy he moves super you slow. punch him yeah you punch the tail but you got to be careful to make sure you don't uh you don't die like that so which means you gotta like uh you gotta like slow roll it, and then for this, I mean, you just you just spin them in. It's it's mostly camera work, honestly. You just spin them into the thing and press punch again to throw them. Okay, you gotta have a lot of mo. Not for the not for Bowser one. You okay. could maybe with two rotations you can get them there. Okay. It's kind of a creative boss design. Yeah, that's why they use it three times. <laughs> 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 okay. But yeah, it's mostly like camera. You you like aim with your camera at the thing that you at the ball that you want to hit. Because you have to throw them. In when do you let balls. go? It's a question that's very difficult to answer. I <laughs> like that. Oh, okay. That was it. Okay, that I think you did everything wrong, <laughs> and it worked out beautifully. That was an incredible. That was a long distance blind <laughs> Bowser throw. It's perfect. Okay. So that's just a Bowsy one. That's the split. When that's do Bowsy, yeah, when when the key you pick it up and then it fades to black again. Okay. So on the fade to black, you you hit the split. All right. So you know the the first part of the speed run, you'll notice you have eight of sixteen stars now. The first part of the speed run is all about you know there's some cool tricks. Second part of the speed run, things get a little bit real there's, there's some fun stuff there's some tricky stuff and there's some there's some spectacle okay. so you jump off the railing next to the cool cool world door there is another door you just go through that okay then you drop uh down the staircase you put your key in the door 
This one, I don't know if it matters whether you uh, you open left or right. Yeah, we frame, we don't know. Frame left, frame right. Okay, we're good. Okay. Either way, it goes through the right door. Then you're going down the right tunnel here. Okay. Is this MIPS? One, not yet, but okay. soon. Okay. Well, like seven stars from okay. now. <laughs> so you run down that hallway. And then, uh, sorry, yeah, towards the fire painting, but don't go into the fire painting. Okay. Then go left, and there's like a dead end, but it's not a dead end. It's shifting sand land. So the the first thing I would say is like, don't do anything, just watch. Okay. This is like one of the stars here. Once you get a little bit more cracked, I've I've made a terrible mistake, okay. and I have no suspend point. Okay. Hold on. I got three lives. I'm just going to throw myself into the sand. <laughs> and then I'm going to make a suspend point. <laughs> so this first star, there's basically like a, a spectacle way. And then there is a, uh, uh, there's a backup plan. Okay. So, uh, I mean, I, I want spectacle. I, I got you, full, I got you is, full screen. The spectacle is you schmove, you schmove, you stay on the right side of the pillar. You're schmoving, you jump. You land on the shy guy, hold the jump button, snipe this vulture out of the air. <laughs> Ooh, and you're still going. Alongside, then you go whoop. Grab this thing. Okay. okay so that's that's the the spectacle way. It's not that's the if you continue doing speed runs, I would recommend doing that. Okay. The the way we're gonna do it is you're gonna punch this box, which will give you a simulated triple jump. Can you can you give me yeah. one schmove though? Okay, uh, yeah, you get, know what? Yeah. I want to I want to be tried just to be cracked once. So let me narrate it one time, okay? Okay. So you're basically gonna like long jump here, on the down slope of the sand dune. Mm -hmm. You're gonna jump and dive a little bit more to the right, and then you're gonna just keep jumping and diving to the pillar in order to make it. Uh, in order to make it because you got to be very fast okay. i don't know if you have a suspend point too because the the timing matters you got to do it like right at the start of the level okay and then you long jump here you hold the jump button and there you go it's that's boring hmm. what like it's hard <laughs> how do you get the the early mo you might have to be a little bit uh, further with your long jump. Like maybe like higher up, you get the slide down, then you get the jump dive, then you get the jump dive, then you're up the pillar. I'm already up the pillar. Ooh, I went too fast. And you got to do it right at the start. Otherwise, the, the vulture is not in the right position or the shy guy is not in the right position. Yeah, and this is advanced strats. I, I'm, I'm excited for it the future, but I'm with you. I think this is like you're, try, yeah. you're trying to thread a needle through a... A hurricane so basically the, the easy way to oh he's still doing it oh what the heck he's kind of cracked with it though okay all right he's i'm kind of cracked with it okay yeah, so easy way okay easy way put yourself in this position that i'm in here don't worry about the bomb i'm just clearing out the detritus okay okay so you're gonna like face the box towards the top of this uh sand dune you can adjust your camera as you as you need okay and then basically you're just gonna punch it and oh you're gonna punch it and hold forward to jump over the dune. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. Yeah, if you don't get it, I think it, that's like you might as well load your suspend point there. You can do it without the box too, but it's like, you know. Why? <laughs> well, like yeah. it, it is faster, but like it's it's not the right way, I think, for a beginner to to learn i mean you got to pick your battles right you know you don't read the whole quantum physics textbook on the first day of class i don't even know that honestly okay and then where am i um, going after i get over it okay hold on did, did you get over yeah yeah okay so once you get over let me just do it here okay you get over good 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 yeah, don't run into that quick, man. Oh, okay, okay. I thought that was part of the speed tech. <laughs> no, I would say step one is like staying still. Okay. Once you get over. Okay, okay. I was going for some schmoove. Oh, and there's a dude, the schmoove, it'll, it'll serve you well. 
Okay, over. Hoddle. Stay out of there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, don't go in the pit. Hey, I didn't do, go do in what, there. Do, do what you gotta do to not get hit by the tornado. I should have okay. mentioned that part. Are you over? Okay, you're over and paused. You're waiting for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You don't have to uh, jump dive. You can hunt. just walk into it and then press the punch button to line it up a okay. little bit, a little bit easier. You do could, I, you how do I pick it up? You do, just the punch button, but because you're running, you're doing oh, a dive. Oh, okay. You can still grab it while diving. It's just less consistent. It's not where we want to be. So I would, I would definitely just take the time to camera. line up the camera where you want it to be facing. Yeah. Okay. You peace. Don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah. He's not. Okay. Now. No! You're not in the quicksand. <laughs> okay. You, you've got so much influence. You got to use the camera to point in the direction you want to go. This is a this is a slow is fast moment for sure. Okay. I got you got so much influence in the air that you you shouldn't have to full sand into the quicksand. <laughs> okay. 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 There then, we go. Okay. Yeah, let me pause. Okay. So you're gonna be like facing that ramp. Okay. So there's okay. there's two ways to do this. Here's here's the way I would look at it. The first try should be a triple jump, and I'll, I'll show it to you. You want to do the first two jumps on not the pyramid, and the third jump will be about you know six maybe three blocks above the door. So it would look something like this. It'd be like one. Two, I, I screwed it up. Let me let me try one more time. Oh no, I'm gonna get stuck to the quicksand. Okay. So the first jump will be like one, two, three. Then you jump and dive with the punch button. Ooh, that's a nice looking trick. <laughs> it's pretty slick. All right, let me save this. It's pretty slick, especially when you get it in one go as well. With with the the box, it just feels like you're a speed runner. Okay. So two in the sand, one in the gold. No, it would be, your first jump will be like near the start of the gold ramp. Your second okay. one will be near the flat part. Okay, a little slow. If you go in the pyramid, you, that's a nightmare. Okay. That's like a run ending nightmare. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna go like near the start of the ramp, the end of the ramp. I, I screwed okay. it up, but we still got it somehow. Oh, you piece. Start of the ramp, end of the ramp, in the hole. Yeah, it might even be you could do like the the sand near the start of the ramp, the the end of the ramp, and then on the mountain. Ooh, oh. okay. So you were actually that was too good. And then after that triple jump, when you get it lined up, you're gonna hit jump dive. So you're gonna do like one last jump off the wall, and you're gonna dive into that little hole. Okay. Let me resave this with the camera, right? Okay. Once you get it, it's like, you got it. But also, this star is actually great because it has like a, a backup. Ooh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Never mind, okay. Right in the hole, okay, okay. That's just a good if one. You, if you screw it up a couple times, mm -hmm. you just do the same silly kick from Bowser 1 where you tap, uh, you hold jump and then just kick as much as possible. And then you just uh. like steer yourself up here. And there you go. It costs you like a couple seconds. No big deal. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. okay. So that way you got something the tool belt if you mess it up. Yeah, if you're not feeling the triple jump for whatever reason, like maybe you fall once, the reset takes a second. So you're like, I'll just do the silly kicks instead. Oh. He's cracked. He's officially cracked. Okay. We can't miss those. We I, that, I feel like that one's you can't miss that one. That one's like <laughs> you got you gotta hit that one. All right, okay. Okay, so there's one more star in this level. Okay. And it's gonna look very similar to the start of that one. The, so the star that you would be getting now would be the one where you boing off the vulture. Oh, we're the... not gonna do that right off the bat. Okay. Instead, you're gonna grab the box again and go to like the same area. Let's go. So you're gonna jump over the top of this dune. Okay. Camera work. Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna go up the ramp, but you not into the trees. It's right, it'll just drop you down. Okay. As long as long as it doesn't drop you in the quicksand. <laughs> it's okay, it happened to me too. Up the ramp, but not in the pyramid. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that, that's fine as long as you don't fall into the sand. Okay, Chat, please get Chad's saying, tell me that's a false way to get that star the way I was getting it. 
Is that true? I, like, like they're no, saying I don't, I don't know how to know. triple jump. If it if it works, then who cares? I'm right, with no you. big deal. Okay. So like yeah, from there you, you got it. Side camera. You're just gonna run and do a long jump off the end here. Mm -hmm. You probably don't even need the long jump necessarily, but I would do it either way. For the sauce. Okay. Yeah, just to make sure. Then you're gonna climb up this pillar and try to stand at the top. It's a little slippery. Okay. This vulture is gonna be swinging around. If he's not here, you just wait a second. Then you can just jump into him and, and kick, and he'll drop the star down here. Okay. So if, if he's not there, he'll he'll like fly back in a second. Okay. So you jump and kick. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And apparently, you don't even need to kick. You can just jump into him. Okay. I still kick. Though. You gotta watch out for the, the shifting sands. Where are you, peace? Okay. Hey! That, is that, is that, are we done here? Is you it gotta time? grab this star, oh. and then... When you jump and kick, do you grab it midair, or then you still have to grab it? No, you still have to go down. Okay. But nor like when you get good, you don't necessarily do that one because you do boing instead. Uh, so that is a split, by the way. Oh, split. Okay. Now we we've honestly got like three easy stars. So this are actually five easy stars. <laughs> so th from this part, you're you're just basically you're on autopilot. Okay. Okay, so you just run out of that corridor, you go into the lava painting this time, in the fire painting. Oh, is this when you go woohoo off your butt? <laughs> yes. Okay. This one's all, it's like camera work. So you, you get into the level, you camera right one time. Long jump, you're gonna touch the lava. Camera right one time, save state just for ease of porpoise. Okay. Jump into and the lava one time. Jump into the lava. Yeah, hold on. I was just doing it like a fool. Um, let, let me... Uh, I'll wait for you. There's a problem. I didn't make a suspend point, but I, oh. I can I can walk you through this one easy. Okay. Do so I go 12 o'clock? I, I you're going to be going... Basically, you're landing on that uh, hockey stick platform that's just across the lava lake. So you're okay. going to long jump and then land on that conveyor belt platform. You'll touch the lava once, it's no big deal. To the left of the eye. Or behind yes. the eye. To the left. Not even the, the chain lattice that the eye is on, the platform to the left of it. Okay. And you can make it for sure. You'll, yeah, you'll touch that once. Okay. You land on the conveyors. You're going to land on the coin bridge there. Okay. Maybe C left. One. Yeah, exactly. And then you're just basically you're gonna hate what I'm about to say. You're gonna collect all eight of those red coins on the sliding tiles, and you just collect them. Okay. I don't have a route necessarily. I kind of do th the three left, then down, then up and right. But you'll probably touch the you'll touch the lava a couple times. This is not my my strong suit, but this is also like the most easy star in the game. Okay. Just collecting right. forehead. Yeah, look, I no, people no. try to teach me the route, but if you're like a little late, it's uh, it gets messed up and okay, and that that's a split. That, like, that's the end of that. That's one. it. One. That's it. What do they call that game in barber? What do they call that game in barber school? Survivor. In Survivor. VIP Daniel, are you here? What do they call that game in Survivor? <laughs> Survivors, you know the slide tile. Okay, all right, so I'm good. So now where do we go? Uh, so you'll be going to the, right, the yeah, to your left right now. The okay. platform, the, yeah, yeah. And then you, there's a little door there. You're just gonna go through that. Try to put some sauce on it. Always, always. Okay. That, this is one of the most fun stars in the game. You just jump in the goo pool. So here, you're gonna go to the left at the fork. And then you're gonna just touch this door. So you, yeah, always all of these stars are to the left, so it's easy to remember. <laughs> well, <laughs> I should probably save state. What happens if I lose all my guys? For now, it's not a big deal. Okay. Um, there are parts in the game that it'll add a, a level of complexity for sure. Okay, let me just save state this because I don't want to. So crap.
Okay. Yeah, so you're just gonna jump. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. There you go. So you go through that door. Then you're just gonna follow like this lattice over here. No things betwixt. <laughs> it it kind of looks like Demon Souls. Yeah. You're gonna go through this door. Now yeah. just watch this all narrated. It's so easy and so impressive. Okay, you're going big screen. You oh, step shit. on the elevator, you walk off and bump your head on the right. Look for the black semicircle, push yourself up against the wall. You're already down to this star. So uh, let me let me load yeah, up my yeah, suspense yeah, point again. Please. It, it's so easy, there's just like, there's two things you have to remember. You touch the elevator, bonk your head on the right. Oh, I had screwed it up. <laughs> Black semicircle, and then just point yourself towards the star. You can even snipe it out. Oh, of the you air want to you get want. elevator. You want this elevator to smash you. Yeah, the elevator lands on your head, pushes you through the wall. So you, you touch the elevator, bonk your head on the right wall. Black semicircle, you're on the right side of that, and then you get pushed through. You, you, if you're not close, you can hit punch in the air to dive because you don't. If you land in the water, it's it's a problem. Air the punch. Big, the the big thing is uh, that you want to find that dark semicircle on the wall and be on like the right side of it. I'm looking at for the semi this time. I don't see a dark semicircle. What are you talking about? Is it a, is it a different shape? Is it a different shape? Oh, I'm going full screen to see your semicircle. It looks like a banana or something. Where? Do you want to call it a banana? I think you're looking at the, the top right. I, it, it intersects with the floor. Oh, I'm looking at the floor. Okay, I was looking wall. Let me see. Okay, so I'm coming in. Bonk your head on the right. This one oh, right. Oh, you're on the floor. Okay, I was looking wall. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. You see it more as a geode, you know. Okay. All right. All right, let's do this. So you go in here, you bonk your head on the right, semicircle. Oh, you gotta keep uh, walking into the wall as well. Oh. You gotta, you gotta like keep pressing up against the wall. I should have mentioned that. Okay. But it, yeah, it, even in, in a run, if you miss this one, it's not a big deal because the elevator comes back. Yeah, I didn't bonk there. The it's, wall. it's pretty like, uh, it's very tolerant. There you go. Okay. Now the the problem in the water is not good for sure. I would say you want to be more left on the dark spot, but turning almost to the right. Okay. And the camera is a, a big a big play here for sure. Bonk. I still got time even if you miss the bonk. Okay, we're in this. Look at that. Man, who invented this? <laughs> All right. Okay, that's that one's pretty good. That's an easy one, right? That's one of the uh, easier once, ones. Once you learn it, you'll you'll never mess it up. Except maybe occasionally you'll land in the water and be upset. Oh, look babe, can you get that. a frame He's perfect crap. landing on that? You you can you can you can grab it out of the sky. In some <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Is so that is that a star, split or no split? Nah, we're we're here for a little bit. Okay. So the next star, you see this little freak in the left corner over here? Yeah. Punch him. He's like half invisible. Just walk over to him and tap B till he gives you his star. You that's the most psychotic toad star I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Why? Why are you close talking him in the corner like that? Like you're <laughs> <laughs> All right. So once okay. you get this star, you're going to just jump back in. Can you get out of there? You trapped. <laughs> So it's the same thing from here. You're gonna, um, you, you know, go to a similar place, but you're not gonna go to the elevator this time. Okay. So you're just gonna go through that door that's that's at the fork in the road at the left. Okay. Perfect. Now, from this platform, you're gonna basically long jump straight across, jump again to make sure you're on you're safe on the rolling boulders, and then you're just gonna you're just gonna walk up. Try not to get hit by the boulders too much. Okay. You can grab the coins, I suppose. Now here, I would maybe have the camera uh, like this, so like you're in the middle of like a, a milk crate. Oh, what the heck? Hey, what the heck? I've been watching you, all right? I know. He already knows. He already knows. <laughs> all right, that one's easy. There's the, the last one is the hardest of all the stars, okay. but it's still very minimal tech. 
Okay. And then the run gets gets very real. Okay. <laughs> so so jump back in. There's multiple ways to do this. Chat's gonna as soon as you mess it up one time, chat's gonna be like, just teach him the triple jump, just teach him the side flip, just teach him the wall clip, teach him the different spot. Don't worry about it. this. Will, it'll get you there. So you're gonna go left at the at the fork in the road again, okay. basically to the to the a very similar spot. Okay. Then, as if you were going to the elevator, follow mm -hmm. that path on the right, but don't go through the elevator door. Okay. Just just follow the follow the cream all the way around. Okay. Okay. So you get to about here. Now you're gonna do a side flip. And when you do your wall kick on the side flip, it's gonna clip you through the ceiling and you're almost gonna be at the star. So it's it's a hockey stick, side, well, that's not good. Um, it's a hockey stick, side flip, you kick off the wall, you clip through the chain. Oh my gosh. So just- Very similar to the one at the top of Thwomp's, uh, Thwomp's tower. Yeah. Okay. So you, yeah, start at the, the relative far left there. Okay. And then you're gonna run Basically parallel to the wall, then hockey stick out, and then uh, the beautiful, incredible suspend point technology. Okay. So I, here, let me. Uh, yeah, show I, me. I, I what? Gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure out how to uh, fall down from here safely. Something like this, maybe. How do once I once I get up there, what do I do? It's one long jump to the star from there. No, like. I'm clipping through, but what do I, when I'm midair, let me just watch it again. You, you shouldn't have to adjust your, uh, yourself in air too much. Okay. So I, I would say make sure you're starting like here, like close to the edge. Mm -hmm. And then ba maybe you got to do like a quick turn once you land just to, okay. just to not run off, but. Peace. Burp, 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 burp. I would it, the camera as well. I would say like from your current. That's the camera right there. Even if it moves on its own a little bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's mo Yeah. Okay. I got you. So you go. Peace. Yeah. You almost like run along the wall for a second, and then you turn away at the last second, and that's when you do your jump. There. You, yeah. 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 That's perfect. Okay. Just a little bit too close to the uh, to the edge, so you keep falling off. I think. Okay. Maybe there is a little bit more, like, you know, you, you stop yourself Ooh. at... Oh, okay, okay, now that you're up. Okay. This one's all camera, basically. Try okay. to try to adjust Lakitu camera so that the star is in the frame. Uh, it, it is... Where is this? At, it's Mario's 2 o'clock. There, there you go. A one more. A little bit more to the... Yeah, the camera is finicky here, for okay. sure. And then you're just going to long jump over to that platform. Okay. And, then, and that's it. Ooh. You don't have yeah, so I, I would I would take your time to line up the camera and do like as little of a running start as you can. Okay. Because as soon as you move in this tiny little cave, like it's gonna, the camera's gonna go wild. Okay. This one's all about confidence. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> jumping over Miyazaki's ball pit. Hold on here. Oh. Oh no, <laughs> that's okay. I fell off too actually. Sometimes you just gotta you know, grip it and rip it. <laughs> oh, close, close. And then eventually, you won't even adjust the camera because you realize that the real camera is in your mind. <laughs> oh, okay. So you you go a couple clicks on the camera, get get the Nikon, cool pics. Okay. Okay, and then you just say trust, falling with strangers. That looks good. Hi. Oh. <laughs> okay. Lost my touch. I feel like I need you need some some mo there. You need a little bit of a running start. Okay. All right. Should you be able to land or are you grabbing? You should be able to land it. Okay. I you you can land, but if you grab, that's fine too. Okay. All right. All right, so here's where the real run begins in many oh. people's eyes. That's a split. For okay, sure. split. Yeah. And then, you know, you, there's a couple ways to do this. You could walk up the staircase like a normie, or you could uh, double jump up it like a pro, which you are already. Okay, so walk up the staircase. 
or you could side flip up this you could do whatever you please okay now this i want you to just watch for a second so as you leave that door you're going to walk towards like the fire right okay then you're going to turn your camera to the right a couple times and what the heck <laughs> what the heck is even that so there's multiple strategies for catching this guy one very important detail when you catch him he's gonna spit out a star we don't pick up the star no matter what okay i think is this but right like it's it's I, not relevant i lost you on the pathing out of here you just could make a hard left turn, once you get out turn around 180 degrees okay keep going go left now Walk straight for a second. Turn left at your first intersection. And then you'll see that, that <laughs> cycle right there. Okay. Okay. So there's one people are gonna tell you you can line up a reliable split or a reliable place to grab him. Yeah. I like to send it to just to try one time. Yeah. So so what you do is you run full speed, dive, jump, dive, jump, dive, and just try to just try to tackle it. Brute like force this. it. Okay. Get him. Oh, oh. Okay. you Gretzky'd him. You Gretzky'd him where he was going, not where he was. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. You piece. All right. That's, that's not going to work. And that's, you don't, you don't need to, uh, I wouldn't make a suspend point here yet. Necessarily. No. But, and, and it's not long jump. It's just jump dive. So once you get a sprint, you're just going to hit uh, B and he'll do the dive. You piece. <laughs> oh, I, I honestly, I thought that's where you would get him. Okay. I'm going to get him right you don't here. Need, yeah, don't, don't do long jumps. Just, oh, yeah. no long jumps? No long jumps, just just dives. Wait, he's, how come he was going right for you? It's all about the angle you approach him from. So he'll, he'll move in the opposite direction of your approach. Okay, so you want to force him. Yeah, and, and I wouldn't uh, jump dive either. I would just do the... The first one should just be a dive. Okay. So, they get, don't even... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get him here. Oh, he hits that 90-degree <laughs> turn. We're getting him. We're getting him. Ooh. Oh! Oh, you piece. Okay, okay, okay. And then if you don't get him on this one, then he's... What, he Martys you? You do no, have... He, he waits at a dead end, and that's where, like, the reliable setup is. So, oh, okay, okay. okay. So don't pick up his star. Don't okay. pick up his star. Okay. Let's go. Even okay. it's gonna be so tempting to pick up the star. Okay. No even, star. Even, even there's gonna be some situations where maybe we miss this a few times. You're gonna be like, I'm gonna get that star real quick. Okay. Pick him up again with B. Okay. And then walk him uh, behind you. There's a door behind you and to your left. Okay. I, I think I'm trying to f figure out where you grabbed him. Where the heck did he grab him? I grab oh, oh you, you grabbed him so early. Okay, go straight. Uh, past the star on the right. Okay. You got him so early. This yeah, is the that's MIPS your door. door right there. Okay. This is the MIPS door. Okay. okay. So let me just, I'm just going to narrate. You're basically going to, you're going to walk him into the door. Like, so that basically you and the door make almost a 90 degree angle to one another. Okay. Then you're going to slowly add a little right to the movement. As soon as you see Mip's shadow disappear, you're going to hold ZL. And then you're going to rotate your stick so you crawl around like a little freak like this. Yeah. Then pretty quickly, you're going to punch him. If it grabs him, you're going to jump in the direction you're facing right now. So towards the door. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're through. Yeah. You have to grab him again. Oh, but he's not I mean, through with me. Right, yeah. So then you just go back and you and you try again. Okay. So the, the important thing, and I think I, I saw you standing up through the door. Yeah. You got to um, hold ZL. At once you press ZL to drop him, you hold him. Okay, you, you don't need to reset on the mid. Like we, can, we can catch him the, the easier way. Okay. So just so catch him. Like, yeah, well, yeah, but I would I would definitely force him to the right. Okay. And then once once he ends up in in Toad's Alley, 
don't chase them too deep there. Just just wait at the top. Further up, for sure. Like, toward, toward the, uh, in the other direction. So here, you, your your goal here will just be to chase them back to Toad's Alley. Okay. So you'll send them, like, you know... Try to get... In that... Yeah, but then maybe you want to, like, go around and catch them on the other side. Because, like, if you run at them that way, it'll push them into Shifting Sandlands. You want to get them to go, like, the... I got you. Or some... Oh, okay. Get in there. Go that way. That now way. you're back in the... Yeah, yeah. Okay, when he's in Toad's Alley, what do you want to do? Okay, stand basically at that corner right there. Okay. I, I even further back. I would say, don't let, have Mips exit your mind a little. Okay. The the technique, basically, I'm going to put this guy down for a second. So I, I'll, I'll model it here. The technique is basically, like, Mips will be right around Toad there. You're just going to jump in, not jump dive, but just dive. And what button's dive again? It's just B while running. Okay. So you're going to make sure you're at a run, then you're going to go, yup, and then he's going to go right into your hands. Okay. Ooh. Look at that. There's a text Okay. Board. So that's back up if you miss. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me... And then I would I would suspend, or save, save a suspend point. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. <clears throat> and don't get the stuff. <laughs> Punch <laughs> him to pick him up. Okay. There you go. All right. So once you get into this door, again, you're going to walk basically so you're at you and the door make like a 90 degree angle to one another. Slowly add some rightward momentum. As soon as his shadow disappears, hold ZL. Okay. Rotate to face him. Punch him and then jump. Rotate to face him. Do I hold on to ZL still? Uh, what, at this point, when the camera is clipped through the door with you, it's already not Too gonna late. work. Okay. But yeah, you just you just reset it. Yeah. Not not even the suspend point. You just walk through the door again. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like a first try. Like people it usually takes a couple tries here. Okay. So you ninety them. I mean, can I get some cam? Yeah, 90 is important and then much much slower on the walk yeah 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 <laughs> and when, he, when his shadow disappears bang okay yeah then keep holding zl turn around to face him okay there you, and i would even go further to mario's right there just to make sure okay and then you're gonna punch and jump basically while holding the direction you're currently facing and zl it should be held the whole time. Okay, so punch and jump. Something didn't seem right there. Huh? Like your guy was constantly like covering his head and then uncovering his head and then covering his head. Okay, so I come back, pick him up again. Walk in the door, slow, but give him a little right sauce. Okay, Z. I'm holding ZL. Yeah, keep spin yourself around. Okay. I would uh, just what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> I would just B. Then if you grab him, you you hit A. Okay. Oh, oh, that's yeah, yeah. Click. But you also be facing that direction. So like, move your analog stick towards the door and press A. Analog stick. So I'm holding A right now. You're holding A. Yeah. Okay. Let go of it and press it again. Okay. And then make sure your analog stick is pointing towards the door. Analog stick. This, uh, one, this one's a little jank, but yeah, towards towards the camera, basically. I guess. From Mario's perspective towards the door, not from the camera's perspective, I should have specified. Because I think I am Mario. Not Lakitu, but many people identify differently. You got to hold ZL the whole time as well. You should be okay. crouching the whole time you're through the door. Okay. When I'm crouching, it's he's holding his hand, and you said that's weird, so I stopped yelling, but I won't, I won't do that anymore. Okay, so flip me, flip me, flip me. Okay. I'm stuck on camera mode. Okay, so you beat. Oh, it, it, it takes a minute. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, hit the B. When the shadow goes. Slower, you said. 
Yeah, this, this is one where like, it's like backing into a tight parking spot. You'd, you'd rather like finesse it on the first try than get caught like trying to like parallel parking you know if you don't get parallel parking the first time you're screwed and you have to <laughs> like completely restart yeah unless you got a lot of space that's like this is parallel parking okay you want to make sure you get, as you want to maximize your odds of getting it right on the first try okay slow slow okay it's gone yeah then you will press zl at that point Okay. To, to drop him. Now I'm He'll holding through the out. door. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me get to that point as well. Okay. Just so I can live live narrate. Wait, we only have one more star to go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it's we gotta get sub two. <laughs> okay. So you, why why is your guy <laughs> now looking like this? Like this is what my guy's doing right now. He's a little freak. Okay. He's on his hands and knees. Yeah, yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay. Then you're gonna try to grab him. With a B button. With B, and then you're gonna jump, yeah. just holding the, the analog stick in the same direction that you're facing right now. I, mean, I shouldn't say that you're facing, but like that, you know, that the, the stick direction does not change. Yeah. People in chat are gonna try to gaslight you. They're gonna say, don't, don't let go of ZL, don't do this, don't, trust me. Yeah, we it don't works. let go of ZL, right? Don't let go of ZL. Okay. I just did it like four times in a row. You don't let go of ZL. Just hold okay. it the whole time. I believe. It's camera, though. This one, it, I mean, this probably took me like half an hour the first try. So. I'm just, you know I'm what I'm going to do? I'm going to take your instruction. We're going super cyan slow. Okay. Bam. Pick him up. We're going nice and slow. 90 degree me. Okay. Holding oh, yeah. ZL. And then, yeah, just keep... Uh, okay, I think you got to keep moving. Maybe, oh. like, maybe like stopping, letting go of the analog stick has, has got it. held you down here a little bit. Got it. So you keep... When when I pull the, the stick down, don't let go. When As soon as we change cardinal direction. That would be my advice. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. So. Sometimes, like, the drop just screws it, too. So, like, the, you can drop Mips, like, too far to the right and not be able to grab him. That's why, like, the 90, the 90 degree is, like, a helpful indicator for me. So, I'm, like, I'm flat with the door. Yep. Then, like, my right momentum is so small that he's not going to get dropped on the bricks. Okay. He's going to get dropped in the door. Oh, oh okay. And then okay. hold analog stick down, jump. Yeah! Let's go! Okay. You, okay. Do I still hang? Am I still? I'm still holding everything. Yeah. It, well, okay. You, you can let go of all buttons, but if you drop them, it's no big deal. You just pick them up again. Okay. 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 The mips. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that's that's the hard mips. You have to do it one more time, but it's much easier. Okay. So this time you can just walk up the stairs, or you could do a jump uh, up here. Okay. There you go. And then it's the same thing on the right side. You're just going to walk him until his shadow disappears. Then you're going to press ZL, and then you're in. Okay. I walk it, walk it like I talk it. Okay. There you go. You're in. That's so it? That, Do that's we need him? No, you don't need him now, and that that's a split. Ooh. First try. So true. Okay. Let's do this. We got to get sub two. All right. What are we doing next? You just jump into the pool. This is, you get to have a little meditation. Okay. This, this is your like one minute cool down. Okay. So you're going to swim. How there is swim? a rhythm here. How do you you want to tap like, I don't know. There's a BPM. It's a button. Uh, okay. Like uh, jump. You just want to swim down into that hole there, into that tube. But for the most part, for now, I would say just get a little, you know, perspective on life. Just think about it, how far you've come on this speed run. Dude, this... What, are you horsing with the camera? I can't see anything. I, I just keep it behind them at all times. Okay, it's like flying a plane. Inverted Yeah, controls. oh, it's inverted. Yeah, sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> this, it's the 90s. Okay. 
nuke tech. Yeah, there you go. And so the the cue for good swimming is you should hear Mario going bloop, bloop, bloop every time you press the button. So if, if he's not going bloop, you're, you're either going too slow or too fast. But for the most part, like, you're just chilling right now. It's the first run. Okay. You think we can sub two? Where, what are we at time One, right now? 148. No. No? <laughs> yeah, but we'll definitely sub 2.5, probably. There, there's the hardest part of the run is still coming up. Okay. Two I've never done. Okay, so go to the back of the submarine. Okay. And uh, just use the inverted controls to land on the uh, to land on the fin. Okay. Let's go. And the it, this, this part's a little finicky too. I would say much like Mips, this is one where you just you take it slow, make the camera work with you, and you know just uh, slow is fast on this one to start with too. Get up. How do you get him up? Will he grab it? No, you gotta you gotta like sploosh out of the water to get onto the thing. So it, it's just like it's, it's just positioning. So you'll hold down the stick when you get close, so like his head's poking out, and then he'll do a jump when his head is poking out. So like you'll get his head poking out. Uh huh. Hold down and jump on. Head poking out. Hold down and jump on. Give me buttons. Sorry. A is jump. Is this tech or no? Not tech. This is... You'll just get it. Okay. So you come here. <laughs> it's just a nutty jump right there. Okay. Yeah. Now, anyway, now hold down on the left stick. Mm-hmm. And then press A. Oh, there perfect. Okay. okay, that is a little so, new tech. So there's two ways to do this both things we've seen before okay. one is the silly kicks where you you mash your way up like like this mm -hmm. the other way you, and you can choose whatever one's more comfortable for you the other way is a very small real estate side flip into a jump and dive okay i, I did the silly kicks for a long time okay I, I think for me, it's just a little bit more, especially early, it was like more consistent. I don't like, the, the hard thing is this fin. Oh yeah. Yeah, once you get on the fin, you're like, I gotta hit this first try, otherwise I'm gonna be like so annoyed. Yeah. The like, first time I ever got here, I remember people in chat said, good luck with this BS, only they didn't <laughs> censor it. They just said, you know, <laughs> they said the real words. Man, and and there's, no, there's not a lot of real estate. So I, I, let's do silly kicks because I mean, the real, st this, this is like patience. <laughs> Getting on the fin is patience. Everything else to this point has just been spamming. Okay. So yeah, you get on, yeah. you'll kind of like, get, make sure the camera's working with you. You're going to face, you know, like if you think of this as a, as a, a cylinder, mm -hmm. it's that like middle slice right there. That's going to actually give you some traction. Gotcha. So you're going to aim towards that. And then you're gonna execute silly kick protocol, which is hold the jump button and mash the the kick button like this. Okay. I didn't do it properly, but it's, it's the way the way of the world. Hello. Hello, Pepe. Okay. Then just oh, get this one. Yeah. Then just get the star. Okay. I like silly kick. Silly kick is like it's slow, but it's it's old reliable. It feels like you're breaking the game too. Look at that. All right. Schmoove, schmoove baby. Okay. All right, so th that's not a split for me, but for everybody else it is. Okay. Then you just jump back in the well, not in the pool, but yeah, in the in the hole. And then this is Bowser too. Is this the last, is this a sp not a split? Okay. Then you go Ryan camera. You go Ryan camera. Bye bye baby. Bye. Right. I would pick up this one up for a while. Yeah. Just until you... Because <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> That's my last guy. Let me... Uh... As long as you use suspends, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah. yeah but there's... You get two one-ups on Bowser, too. Okay. So you're, you're, you're okay. So, yeah, I would, I would try to land on this for, for a bit. 
Okay. And then from there, you're gonna try to long jump to these like platforms with the coins on them. If you burn your butt a little bit, I wouldn't concern yourself too much. Just pick up the coins so that you're you're good to go. Okay. Right, he's, he's going off. Three burns and you're gone. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Unless you pick up some coins on the way. Okay. I would just say, yeah, get the one up. Yeah, then try to long jump across to the coin platform. It's perfect. Okay. Okay, then you're gonna long jump to the safe platform. You piece. <laughs> it, it happens, it happens. Okay, now okay. from here, I would say just be safe. You know, like just, just cross safely for the time being. Who cares? Okay. There's a heart at the end of this. And, and for now, just because it's learning, I would say like, you know, abuse those Goombas and and get that heart to take you to full. Okay. Because we're gonna we're gonna show you something a little a little novel here. Okay. And once you're at full, if you got me camera, I still would not climb that ever. Okay. I'm just standing <laughs> up here for safe tech. I'm watching you. Okay. Okay. Well, like the the tech that I use here is you just jump off the side, and then you use the lava to take you up a level. Okay. Seems like pretty good tech. You could even do it from there, I'm sure. Okay. <clears throat> then you're gonna you're gonna climb the pole. This is a camera nightmare. Okay. So you're gonna climb the pole. Yeah, perfect. You you wanna face uh well it's hard to tell because you keep flipping the camera. Okay. <laughs> um from its current position you wanna get off on the left side. Get so off you would on face the left side. Yeah, you would face till your back is to the left, and then... Okay, and then you I gotcha. Just ride the elevator up. And I would say when you get to the top, hit R for Mario Cam, and then at the very top, hit R again to go back to Lakitu Cam. R, R being the... Yeah, yeah, the okay. shoulder button, not right on the stick. Now here, I just suck at this. Yo, but Apollo, I like thanks for the host. Could you hear that, Ryan, or no? I tried to mute it. I, I could have Okay, all right. So I would just long jump across and then like long jump across. Oh, you know, you, any way that you can get over that is fine by me, honestly. You could you could double jump up over the top as well. I'm trying to go up and over the American Gladiators here. Yeah, there you go. And then yeah, just there you go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then you're just gonna climb the. Uh, I mean, a lot of this level is also just you know do it forehead, but you're just gonna climb the the slope here. Take your time. Use the camera. You can work on the the movement later. Okay. And then when it when you have the ability to get off on an upper floor, you take the ability. I feel like I should save state here. No, keep going. Yeah, yeah, go for it, go for it. Okay. Okay. All right. So here, as long as you land one long jump, you're not gonna die. And okay. you can just send it all the way to the end. Okay. And you want to land, like, you know, by the heart, more or less. This camera is a real piece, huh? Even if you get burned a couple times, just full commitment to landing near the heart. Okay, you're, you've are you watched too many speedruns. What do you mean? See, now because what are you going to do now? Now that you got one HP, how are you going to use the lava to get to the Bowser level? <laughs> you don't do that tech? I was I'm all... trying to learn that tech, but you got you to gotta walk before you can crawl to some extent. That's maybe. Apollo tech. It is Apollo tech, but you didn't have the HP that Apollo has, and now you're dying on the way. <laughs> I used here. I had, I had to at least try it once. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so let me let me go no Apollo tech. Is, is, yeah, is Mario Cam Apollo tech too? <laughs> is it no? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just land like near the heart. Okay. okay. And then once you have full HP, long jump into the lava. Okay. You're gonna bounce two times. You're gonna land on the bridge and just keep moving on to Bowser. Okay. It's not what you said to do. <laughs> he said bounce. <laughs> Twice and then go. Okay. And then I once you get to Bowser, I would make a suspend point because you're gonna have you're gonna be on lethal HP. Okay. So I would always if you if you've been burned one time, you need to get the heart to get you to back to full HP because three burns will kill you okay. and you bounce twice to get the Bowser. Thank you. 
Can we please get some dang packs in the chat? Give me that heart, you piece. And just run through it till you're full HP. If it takes an extra second, it takes an extra second. You gotta be totally full. There you go. Okay. I just go back to Lakitu Cam by pressing the right shoulder button and then face the other direction. 180. Okay. You're gonna long jump into the lava. You're gonna bounce once, twice, and then get on the bridge. There you go. And then you're just gonna send it and you're gonna make a suspend point on the Bowser fight. Okay. All right. Okay, we're in, boys. And then, you know, it's a little easy, but just kill Bowser. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you get the, there's a lot of the, the Bowser fight. If there's any special tricks, you know, I don't know. It's, it's all about execution. <laughs> Doesn't get any more textbook than that. Yeah, he does a little. He does a little trick there. He does a little Bowser's hey, trick. Can we please get some dang pack spam in the chat? What? Well, I would say when, when he does the the when he creates the slope, you're gonna run away from him for oh, a minute, but then okay. you're gonna use the momentum to get closer to him so you can grab his tail. I got gotcha. you. And on Bowser, here's here's my tech on Bowser. Always have C down, like right camera stick down, like if you can. Okay. Like it just gives you that much more ability to see how close to him you are. I bump into him all the time. I'm not gonna rag on him. I bump into him or like I dive instead of grabbing his tail. Okay. No. Just gotta You Dude, this is not here, here. Wait, watch this at the start. You'll you'll get like the muscle memory for okay. for how it works. So he comes out and he's like, he says something. He's like, wow, wow, wow. He does this. You run away from him for a second, then let it carry you back down, and then he kills you. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta be off to the side of him, and then yeah, you're gonna jump before the end of it so that you get your your attraction back. Then you're well, gonna be disappeared. Closer. Oh yeah, he, th this Bowser teleports. But if you grab him early enough, he, he won't even have a chance. But he did just do it for me. So what do I know? What a throw. Oh. Ooh. Woohoo! I mean, this is harder, like, for you also because of the trick we used to get into the Bowser fight where you only have one HP. So, yeah, just, you know, just take your time. It's... Just this, practice. This is slow as fast. Yeah, it, I mean, I would say. I, w I would say, especially early, like, this is just one of those things you got to accept. Like, you know, every day it's going to get a little bit better. Okay. And then B throws him. Punch yeah, throws yeah, him. Yeah, okay. yeah, the punch button throws him. And this you need full sauce on, right? Mm, probably not full. What does he say when he throws him? What does he say? <laughs> what does he say? Uh, canonically, he says, so long, King Bowser. Yeah. If you believe that, I got a bridge to sell you. <laughs> did the guy who says the Mario voice, did, they, did he ever confirm nor deny? He said it's so long, King Bowser. Maybe like the N64 sound chip is not capable of... Uh, <laughs> you know, figuring out that kind of fidelity, <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe. It would be some new lore on Bowser. Saddle Hoddle. Dude, this is a real piece. Bowser 2 screwed me up on my on my first couple runs for sure. But it's like anything else, you know. Once you get it, like you got it. I feel like I'm getting a lot of practice in here as well. It's good because honestly, the next part, I would just embrace the fact the next uh, split might be like, you know, 10, 10, 15 minutes away, or it might be 30 seconds away once you finish this. It's all, it's, it's, it's God's plan. How many bombs do you have to hit? Just one. Oh, that's it? Just one? Just one. Okay, we can do this then. I thought it was three. We'll be all right. Why? Why stop at five or six bombs? We can stop at this one. Okay. 
I'm also I'm being told that your your spinning is slow. Okay. It's it's you you can pretty much you can eat that stick. Oh. Go to oblivion to get that, and then you can focus on on when to throw, like the throw timing. You basically you spin fast to like get him to momentum, and then you throw him within the next couple of rotations. This guy's a real piece. We got it though. We can do it. So hey. if, I mean, so if you go frame perfect, you grab his tail and you you bomb him right away. You're feeling on top of the world, like gold this split. Is, you're, I mean, if you get a gold split Bowser too, you're feeling pretty solid for sure. I mean, there's a lot of movement tech on this level as well to take you to the the next level. What is your um? What's your current like? Tech where you know, hey, if I this is where I got to get a little bit better at to, to gold out of my gourd. Bowser one, I could probably cut like 40 seconds off my time. Okay. If I if I just committed this movement for sure, that's that's like a without changing my route, that's the biggest one right now. I would say movement in general. Bowser one, huh? Bow Bowser one is a lot of like long jump potential. I mean, long jumps versus like walking saves you a lot of time. I think I should just randomly hit it. I I don't I don't. This is like no. You should try. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Another thing you can do, you can deliberately throw him short. Uh, and then before he gets back up, grab his tail again and throw him at a slower speed. So you mm. could just, instead of going for the Tiger Woods, you know, <laughs> long putt birdie, yeah. you could just take a two putt par. And, uh, and it, you know, it, it costs you what, like two, three seconds? Nothing in the whole scheme of things. Okay. So here we go. We got, I got a nice, this is probably a 10 foot putt. Do you look at Mario when you throw or you look at Bowsy? I, I fixate on the bomb. Okay. <laughs> Chad's saying I'm too fast. I, I think you're I mean you're you're a home run hitter right now. Okay. <laughs> you're you're trying to knock everything over the fences, I think. Okay. I think the two putt might help you out. You just give him like a little spin before he gets up. You're gonna, you know, punch his leg and die. And then you got to spin faster than that. Also, you're spinning the camera, <laughs> which is not sensible. I, I, don't, I can't imagine what the methodology. I there can't is. see anything because like I do have your screen up though, you know. Actually, you know, maybe, just, maybe for this, I, I like, take your screen you know, off. Make sure you. <laughs> I don't think that's the problem. <laughs> You, so after you pick him up, your next step is you choose a bomb. So you got that bomb. Leave that bomb in the same place on your screen by not spinning the camera. <laughs> and then you just, it's just timing at that point. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's just timing. <laughs> I also think there there probably was a bomb that was closer, closer than that to one. you. Yeah. So you, once you pick him up, you don't have to go sickle mode. Like you can take the... As long as you're spinning him, he won't get out, and you can take time with the camera to choose the the bomb you feel most comfortable with. Okay. You piece. I'd still do stuff like that too. So. All right, we can do this. So run opposite. Use the mo. Thank you, you piece. Grab the tail. Okay, I got him. Now, just, okay, so I got a nice little 12 foot putt. I don't need, I need to be between slow and fast on the spin. This one, I would probably go close to full speed. But I also, just for full disclosure, I don't know if I'd pick that bomb. But you know what? You nailed it. All right, now I got you back on the screen. That's, I'm glad you only have to do one of those. Well, Bowser three, you got to do three. Oh no! <laughs> but there's there's tech. You at least don't have to circle around them too much. Is this a split? Uh, it will be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now I gotta beat Bowser. 
What the heck was I thinking? Alright. I got him. Alright, so the next thing on the run is the showstopper. The next thing is BLJs. Let's go. Dank. It's the, it's, if, if this were ice cream, 16 star ice cream would be BLJ flavored. Okay. That's the dominant flavor of the run. Okay, so right. once you finish that, you, you've done your split, you jump back in the well. Back in the this, well. Yeah, and then you just hit uh, plus button, exit course. That's just to get you back to the lobby a little bit faster. Okay. Plus button. Exit course. Then I'm going to save then, state because I don't trust myself. You're going to run uh, up the staircase in the lobby. Okay. And you're going to you're gonna try to use left door, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it matters at all. And uh, then you're going to go up this spiral staircase. No tech here yet. I'm just going. Now... You see these paintings? The, yeah. the paintings you see at the top of the stairs are your enemy. You don't you don't ever want to find yourself going inside of the, those. Okay. You find yourself in topsy turvy land. You made a, a huge mistake. Okay, so go yeah, go back, go back. The, 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 slow down on this movement a little. That's the staircase. Okay. okay. For this one, go go closer to the bottom of the staircase. Okay. Your the camera is insanely important here. Okay. You want Mario cam, cam down. So it should be Mario with the camera and a down arrow. Okay. You're going to do a long jump towards the bottom of the stairs, but not going far. Like, you can use your directional influence in the air to hold yourself pretty close to the bottom of the staircase. Then you want to try... For now, I would say just mashing the button as fast as you can at the exact moment that Mario's butt touches each stair. Okay. And the goal is you'll hear him go... Whoa, 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 whoa. And as that catches, you'll get enough momentum to shoot you through the star <laughs> door at the top. Now, I don't do this on the first try normally. It takes me like, you know, a couple of minutes minimum. So we're, we're in this one together. The okay. one thing I want to say before we get started, or maybe I'll just do it first try. Oh. Um, <laughs> is sometimes you'll feel like you got it and you'll be stuck at the door just keep believing 100%, keep mashing, and sometimes, I would say more than 50% of the time, it will squeeze you through the door. Okay, so walk me through the mechanics. So I'm at the bottom. Yeah. And Because I'm, do I'm one, doing a move I've never done, backwards jump. I yeah, don't think we've ever done yeah. that. Okay. Step one is a, a long jump. So you'll start moving towards the bottom of the stairs and execute a long jump. Yeah. But basically, as soon as you execute the long jump, your stick will be pointing up towards the stairs. So yeah. you don't want to travel far with the long jump. You just want to start the animation like this. And then you, you, you almost land from the long jump the same place you left. This one is just... Oh, I, uh -oh. I felt some catches okay. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You probably need to hear like 12... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, but before you'd feel comfortable going through. And then again, take the time after each one to make sure your camera's setup is, is perfect. So okay. it would be Mario facing the cam, bottom of the stairs, and arrow down. Okay. Okay. This one's just gonna take some time. You just you, you you feel the rhythm for it, and like some days you're like I got it, some days you're like it, I can't hit it. You know my life depends on it. Yeah. There are speedrunners like so technically you're Welcome supposed to be at 450 BPM. To hit this. Or one sub to sit chorus. I mean that's like nine. They have given 50 second. gift subs in the channel. I think just going as fast as you can is probably good enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Down. Okay. So I, the, just a couple of tips. The yeah. camera setup at the start, very important. And also, like, the lowest you can be on the staircase is, is better because it gives you more time to generate speed. Okay, so, so sec maybe second, third step, Marty. Okay. Yeah. The, the trick is really, like, you don't want to long jump and have the camera swing around. So if that happens, like, you've gone too far, you need to go up a little bit. 
In order to long jump, you need just a little uh, movement in the direction of the long jump first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a long jump, exactly. Take some time, get your camera right. Get your camera right, and you get a little mo going down the stairs, just a tiny bit of mo. That's a, a perfect start. I'm seeing that camera stick wiggle around. I saw like seven input. It looked like a DDR note chart. What happened? I was spamming. So it's more about, is it more about spamming or timing once you get Don't the... Don't touch the camera. The camera should not be touched okay. almost ever. Okay. <laughs> Okay, don't touch the camera, I got you. Give me the down, okay. I like a little mo. That's look, looking good. I believe you've hit your desk and the Elgato has desynced. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I pulled the HDMI card out, hold on. You pulled it out of your computer? <laughs> what the heck just happened, man? Oh, whatever. First try BLJs. It's, it, Dan is very chaotic. He's a chaotic No, no, I, uh, I knocked the switch over because my controller was plugged in. Is it, uh, is, is the feedback, is the video feedback? Yeah, because do I got to resync it with Discord? No, I, I just turned it off because I was worried it was going to... Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Let me, uh, let me reshare. Well, yeah. Did you stop the share? Like, what happened? Now, I, said, I turned it back on and it said, like, he's not sharing his stream. Yeah, because um, when I run uh, Game Capture the first time, the audio's cracked. So I got to right, start okay, it yeah. and then reopen it a second time. So now mm -hmm. I am sharing it again. Okay. Is Do you have it? It's a clean feed. You should be good. Clean feet, okay, clean feet. Got it. Okay. You got it? I got it. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah, I pulled the, the I knocked the switch out of the cradle. The the more you pull with your hands, the less <laughs> attention you're generating towards the button press. Okay. I'm not exactly like I'm not the king of the mashers. I'm that's just my personal <laughs> Wait, okay. <what? laughs> okay. So let's recenter. Let's re recenter a little bit. You, okay. It's fairly simple, you know. You 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 do the long jump. If you've executed the long jump, you land on the stairs, and then you're just pressing jump over and over. Then you're okay. just pressing jump very very quickly. I saw there were like some jump kicks involved <laughs> there. I was like. I, yeah. For for this whole process, you never touch the punch button. So if I'm that, going, that was perfect. That was perfect, except there was no catching. But that's not like within your control. So that that that's exactly what a, a failed BLJ should look like, which is progress. So my question is like, am I? Does that mean I I'm not hitting the button fast enough, or I just didn't hit the right wave? Deal. It might have not been the right time. It might have been slightly like rhythm. Okay. Uh, rhythm might have been off. Okay. This one, I, I don't really, it, it doesn't give you the same kind of feedback as like a wall kick when you don't do it right. <laughs> okay. This one, it, it, the, the more you do, the first time is the hardest time because you don't know what it feels like. <laughs> Every time from that point onwards, it gets, a, you, you know, you're more prepared. I wanted I wanted to put your I got your feedback up for some inspiration. Okay, here we go. Like even if you're not hitting 450 BPM, I don't think that's that big of a problem as long as you're like I think a, a consistent rhythm is part of the that's part of the the secret sauce. And I got it's contagious once you start hearing the ya ya ya's, you're like I don't want to ever stop. Okay. Okay. When you first hit it, like you hear a couple. We we should be hearing a couple here soon, like a couple Yahoos. Yeah, you'll you'll go and it'll be like 
one Yahoo, then you might get like three Yahoos. Once you hear the chain, you're like, oh, then, and you're hitting the button in the same time as the Yahoos, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it, it's like, this is still inconsistent. Maybe not for everybody, but certainly for me. So like this, it takes as long as it takes, honestly. Yeah, I've, I mean, like I've seen, I've seen some people quit at this part. <laughs> or just like smash the run and be like, all right. Well, like once, if you take like two minutes to get through this, then yeah. you're like, what do I do? You know, like that's even not, I'm probably at the point, at least with my current route, if I don't get BLJs in like a minute and there's two BLJs, if I don't get them in a minute, I'm like, well, there, there's no chance for a PB. Okay. It's, it's mathematically impossible. I got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I got like probably like a two piece, two piece, and a three piece. Oh, okay. Probably like a, if if that had been a couple longer, then it, it might have been enough. And again, just keep having. If you get to the door and it's fifty fifty, just have that belief. <laughs> yeah. All right, you pl just play fifty fifty ball. But if I'm I think up, it's one of those things. Is it's hard to instruct because I'm like. It's it's hard to tell what's going wrong. It's yeah. Just I think it's just a matter of spending some time in the lab. And, but if I'm up the stairs and I have it and I get to the top and I haven't heard one Yahoo, then it just restarts. No it, right? chance. Okay. I would, if you haven't heard ten Yahoos, there's no chance. Okay. Prop it. Let's go um, two thirty-five for us to hit it. Or on my side, two thirty-five will be the prop it. All right, here we go. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. All right. So you come down. Listen to what Ryan Gary says. You you come down, get a little mo, then you spam it. Like, are you vi Ooh, okay. How, give me like your violent scale on your A button. Is this not that violent? Okay. I, like, it just. I honestly, I I just feel like I'm in the rhythm. You know. Okay. It's I and I I don't try to like you know press the button hard or anything like that. I just. Uh, yeah. I just try to press yes, it. Sir. Yes, sir. I'm feeling it. You Correct. got this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more about sticking to the rhythm than pressing the button as hard as possible. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm also I'm being told by by spies in the chat that you're <laughs> possibly mashing in the air as well. You don't do that. Only when his butt touches the ground. Oh, okay. But as it starts to catch, you'll be mashing more frequently. Okay. But yeah, you you try to time the first couple for sure. Okay. Okay. So then there is no there is no real mash then it, on your first couple. It's a I would not describe it as not a mash because it's it is fast. Oh baby! I, oh, oh, no. did you, we don't even do one thirteen around here. <laughs> Let's go. You go right through what Miyazaki <laughs> said you can't go through. Oh, what a rush, man. That's oh, a rush. <laughs> oh. Then, uh, How do you do that? I, I, I felt the same thing the first try. It was just like, man. <laughs> <laughs> there's like me. nothing there's nothing in any game like that that i've ever done <laughs> it's like you felt your soul just burst oh man that's a rush oh, <laughs> oh, okay okay all right all right i'm back i'm back sorry yeah. <laughs> then you just i mean you do the same thing you go through that star door on your right there okay brand new subscriber. there's gonna be uh an infinite staircase that plays the song when mom chases you in isaac okay and then you're gonna face. You're gonna get up a little bit. You're gonna face the bottom. You're gonna put it on lack of two cam. Okay. So you're pressing the right shoulder button and face downwards. Uh huh. And then you're just gonna BLJ again. Is this one more or less forgiving? Substantially more forgiving. Okay. Because you have infinite. You have infinite run up basically. <laughs> oh. Oh <laughs> man, that's the best part of the run. You guys, that, that's tell me that. That's like, is that your favorite part of the run? It's like that BLJ is, you know, that the hard part of the BLJs is already over. <laughs> so oh. it, there's a little feeling of relief, but you're not quite out of the woods yet. Okay. I saw, all right. Man, that was like, 
<laughs> it's like it's like catching like a bolt of lightning. When you catch it, you're not letting go. <laughs> oh man. And it, I would say, like, if you don't get it on, like, you know... Oh, baby! Oh, he's in! <laughs> he's in! That's a split. That's a split. Okay, split. All right, all right. Oh, man. What the heck? He's insane? Now I got, I got like, performance anxiety here. I'm like, I can't even get up. Oh, dude, that's so fun. Oh, that's okay, so wait, good. Just wait for me. Just wait yeah. for me. It's all right. You know, maybe go, go grab a glass of water or something. I promise this is the first time this ever happened. Be full screen here. Oh, come on now. That's uh... <laughs> just a little tired. I don't think I like slept that well last night. <laughs> That was incredible, Pog. It's just a little... It's unseasonably cold. I had the sweatiest hands of all time. Would you like me to open a, a, <laughs> a jar of tomato and basil pasta sauce? Huh. I have to say, like, I feel like you open my eyes. I don't feel like I can ever unsee the BLJs now. <laughs> oh man, my elbow is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Wahoo! Sorry, sorry, for the demonetization. All up in my girl's ear. <laughs> and how did anyone ever find this? Ooh, Ooh. there he goes! <laughs> Send him to Pogwarts. <laughs> All, right. All right, then you just jump in the, in the pit. Should I save state here? Uh, I would say once you get into the level. Okay, all right. Oh, man. That's a rush. I, I get it now. I mean, that's a rush. It's so good, right? All right. So, like, the hardest part of Bowser 3, Can we please get some for the packs, most part, is just, attack. like, living. Okay. You know, so I would just, I would keep the camera behind Mario for this first part and just make it to where I am. Just requires some jumping. Okay. You, Not you like could, that. You could long jump it if you like. You could also just do just regular do, jumps yeah. as well. Is also another. I'm like, technique. I'm still like just. He's buzzing. Coming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I just ran a marathon or something. All right, standing right here. All right. Yeah. Then you just like just go over. Like okay. you, you could mimic what I'm doing. You could just send it. It's all good. Okay. And you're just gonna run up here, and I, I wouldn't worry about the movement too much. I would just stay on the path. Okay. I try to keep the camera behind Mario whenever possible here for this part. <laughs> you see what I did? I, was, I didn't, but uh, I can imagine. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I can see how this like how you, this gets gets you going a little bit. You know, a couple, <laughs> couple schmoves here. You're looking at sub one hour. Your next run will be probably like I would say maybe an hour and a half and then after that it's sub hours all day every day because you're gonna need some more guidance like if you run it again you'll you'll need to ask chat for the route but yeah like once it's committed to muscle memory you're gonna be like oh man that's my thing right now I like I figure I could remember the stuff but I don't remember where to go you know what I mean like I wouldn't remember yeah. what doors to go in okay let me let me dial here Come on, you piece. <laughs> but once you like, once you show the BLJs, then it's like everything else is like, you know, you just want to make everything a BLJ. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's a few, like there's BLJs, MIPS clip. The bomb clip at the start of the game is kind of a BLJ. Cannon list is kind of a BLJ. Elevator clip, I feel, I feel the BLJ energy. I mean, but be, you're, you're comparing stuff to BF. I mean, BLJ is like, you gotta catch, okay. I'm just yeah, jump, so jump on the seesaw, camera left two times. You could also just ignore everything I'm saying. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that's, that's the other way we could do it, I guess. 
All right, well, tell me where you want me to stop, and I'll stop. I was say, I gotta... Seesaw I gotta stop? I, I have fallen off. One second. All right. Yeah, don't don't stand on the seesaw. You'll, you'll get to a piranha plant. Ground pound the piranha plant so you can stay there safely for a second. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll be back uh, in, like, a, I don't know, four seconds. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You're, you're at the right spot. Okay. Then, so you're gonna... Just come down the ramp. You're gonna try to get on like right to left camera by moving the camera to the left two times. Okay. You're gonna get on the seesaw. You use the seesaw to get on the platform. Then you do a backwards jump, which is crouch plus jump, in order to get up here. If you got a way to cycle, it's no problem. Crouch plus jump. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. Perfect. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Then okay. you're going to camera left two times, so the camera's behind you. Okay. You're going to step on the button and then take the staircase up. Without grabbing, ideally. Ideally, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, are you at the top? I am at the top, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to stop messing about then. So close. Thank you, chat. Thank you. There's, there's a lot of... I'm practicing my movement tech as we stand here, too. <laughs> okay. So you run up this thing. Okay. Then stop, like, at this midpoint slope here. Okay. Before it gets very sharp. Camera right two times. Now, you're going to... This is a trust fall. Okay. You're going to do a long jump directly to the left and land on the checkerboard. I trusted you? I would, I would <laughs> leave... Half a second later. Okay. That's that's the only problem. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Then from this, you're just riding the platform. The only tech you need to know for this, if you accidentally grab the ledge and you want to fall off, mm -hmm. then you press ZL. I can see we are we are desync slightly here. Yeah, I got fired somehow. Oh, there yeah, there's probably like a plant or something. So if you ever grab a ledge and you want to fall, it's ZL immediately to fall back on the platform. Okay. Everything else is just is just business as usual till you get to this. The last one. Yeah. But okay. then like that was just to stay safe. From the okay. last one, I would just run across and then jump to the second circle and then you're taking the pole up. There's some tech here, isn't there, where you can skip all this or no? There is, yeah. Is it really it's, hard? It's not at my level yet. Okay. So I would see left or, or camera left two times. So okay. it's like this. And uh, I mean, there's two ways to do this. One is you just get on that pole and then you use the pole mechanics to get on the sliding platform. The other one is you long jump from the sliding platform to the left or the right of the pole to skip it, which is what I'm going to try to do. Okay. So they would look something like this. Okay. That way you don't have to deal with the pole. But um, the pole is not so bad. Yeah, uh, that's it. You have to go pretty far to the right or left. So okay. there you go. <laughs> and that that's why I don't like to deal with the pole whenever possible. That is because <laughs> the mean, pole I've, mechanics are in the way. Yeah, I felt like my soul leave my body on that one. Okay. You gotta take the. Uh, you might be able to triple jump it, but I think you gotta take the staircase up there. Yeah. Okay. And it just takes a second. And you know, it's good practice. Okay. Uh, okay. That's a good time for a, a suspend point. This one is a crouch jump. Yeah, crouch jump to get to that upper platform. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, you hit the switch, climb the staircase. Stop halfway. Were, they, like, once you get to this, like where I'm at, you're at the end of the level, basically. Okay. There's like two jumps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm with you. Get a little hard up a little bit. Hard up. Is the pull tech pretty hard? Are, are you working on it? Or no, you're, it, it, the 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 pole tech it just takes a second. Okay. Peace. Yeah, yeah, just, just take the circles across. 
Okay. Now take our time. Cameraman. Camera camera looks good. Jump. Now if we do if we do pull skip, you go stay hard left, right? Yeah. Well, maybe just for because of the Goombas is a little annoying. Okay. You know what? Just for brevity. I think that's a very good yeah. idea. Production value. Okay, let's do this. So then you just go. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Now just keep going. Yeah, you keep going, and then there'll be another series of rotating platforms. I would just, you know, be as safe as you can be. And you're, you're trying, obviously, to ascend. Okay. Okay. And then just run straight. You, the jumping no. will kill your momentum. Okay. So just, just keep running straight. Can those guys, those guys can hurt you and you can't do anything about it, right? They, they can hurt you, you try to avoid them, but also, you know, you got like, there's a one up there, there's a heart there. Is this last right. Bowsy? It, this is the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta throw Bowser three times. The the trick here, you grab him as early as possible, obviously. Okay. okay. As soon as you hit a bomb, you can he'll hit the bomb, he'll fly backwards. You can grab his tail right as he's getting back up, so you don't have to go through that whole circle strat again. Okay. Ooh, that's and music. Can, it's nice. It's a little Castlevania. Right? Yeah. And you can do that until he's dead. So you have to hit him three times. Okay. But you know, it's it's mostly just Bowser. You know, you just gotta you just gotta land your spins, which is annoying but true. And then the run's over. Like. Okay. That's that's the end. When you touch Bowser's Bowser's key or whatever he drops in the star, I think the game is the game is done. So he has like attacks that are annoying to deal with, but it's best to just grab him quickly. I know it's a, again a little forehead, but it's best to grab him quickly so you don't have to deal with the attacks. Have you ever three three throwed Marty them? I, I have for sure. I'm not sure if I've ever done it on a PB. I've, I've definitely had like perfect Bowser's. You have. Today's not the day though. Okay. <laughs> it, honestly, like don't don't get in your head too much. It's actually like not that hard. It, it's hard to do it consistently, I guess, but like, there's there's no like, you know, secret sauce to the Bowser. It's just, it's just timing. I, sometimes I just like I blind throw him. I feel like I just hit one. Definitely out of do not do that. <laughs> 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 I honestly like the the only thing I would say is that the best thing you can do is pick good bombs. You always want to pick the bomb that's like closest to you because then you get. Uh, I mean, it's just easier to time it. That, I mean, that's that. Basically. Okay. So you get three Martys, you got a chance. That's it. That's the run. I also would never be on Mario Cam. Okay. In, in this situation. Camera! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think that's a great oh, I game. Got him. <laughs> I got oh. him on Mario Cam, though. That uh, may be the answer. Not, that's don't perfect. Get used, don't get used to it. Wait, what if that's the answer? The answer is just throwing him at the right time, for sure. I mean, if it works for you, that's fine. But there's no way, like, there's no way that could be the right way to go. <laughs> Look at this, <laughs> man. He's spinning her. Second person camera oh. angle. Oh, that was in line. Are you kidding me? Look, if it works, then I'm not going to be a hater. <laughs> but I do think it's uh, insane. Uh, Chad said I overthrew the bomb. It was, I'm telling you, it was a perfect line, too. Who made this game? What's the creator's name? Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah, fix it, Shigeru.
<laughs> I think he's he'll get on it any day of the any day of the week. Also, during the credit sequence, they show the name of the person who programmed the camera. So if you want to know the name of your enemy, <laughs> it's right there. All right, here we go. Here we go. That was three quick ones. You're right. That was a clean Bowser right there. Getting kind of clean with it. Okay. So, and, and you said it's kind of like BLJs. You just, there's no real tech. You just feel it. Yeah, I think like the at the risk of sounding insulting, the yeah. tech is you throw him into the bomb. I know, but that's like how so BLJs you... is like wizardry. Like you're casting like a magic spell. I don't know what makes it work. What ma what makes it not work? The Bowser stuff. You're just spinning him and releasing at the bomb. Wait, I know, but that's the question. Like, what is the, what is the aiming point? Like when do like, you, uh, when you're spinning him, where where do you want his body in relation to the bomb when you hit the button? He carries no circular momentum as you throw him, so you throw him at the point that his body overlaps oh. with the bomb. Oh, there's no, I didn't know that. See, that's good tech. I thought you had to like time it. You do have to time it, but it's not like you don't have to lead it. You that's just, what I. Okay, that's important. To know. I thought you had to lead him. You're saying no lead. It's you grow in a straight line, no momentumticity. It's more like the the Fortnite sniper rifles than the PUBG sniper rifles. Okay. Stop going into Mario camp. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's 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 halting your progress. Okay. Okay. I won't. I won't. No more Mario camp. No more. No the more. With with a couple of exceptions, the only time you press R in the game should be like by accident, and okay. you should be mad that you did it. You should be like, oh, I can't believe I threw by pressing the camera button. Okay, no Mario cam. Deserve. Okay, let's get him. Let's get him here, Ryan Gary. How do I get the cam down though? Just up arrow. Okay, up arrow. All right, here we go, Chad. I'm gonna guarantee this hit. It's a guaranteed hit. Not even close, man. I think you can aim at a closer bomb. Use the camera to point at the closest bomb. And then throw at that one. Oh, you got it? I don't oh, know how. Uh, oh, I'm glad like you got good noise. music for this. This is good, because we're gonna probably be here a lot. <laughs> but it, Chad says it wasn't the one you were aiming at, though. No, no. I don't. I don't think I was really aiming, to be honest with you. Why, though? It, it goes really fast. You're in control of the speed at which it goes. Truing. <laughs> but if you don't go fast enough, you don't get this enough sauce, right? Not if it's closer. Like if it's really far away, sometimes you might not have a choice, but okay. or you might feel like you don't have a choice. Okay, so let's let's do Ryan Gary strats, find the closest one. Okay. There's a goodie. Okay, here we go, here we go. Less, a little too fast. A little too fast. Slow it down. Slow it down. One, <laughs> two. That was good in line, but you're saying do Tiger Woods strats? I don't know what it. I don't know what it means. What is Tiger Woods strat? It mean? means you just two putt it. That's not what Tiger Woods was known for. <laughs> that, if anything, that might be the exact opposite of what Tiger Woods was <laughs> most famous for. You can you can two putt at least until the third throw. Okay. Here we go. Two putt. Two putt. Okay, this should be a real. This is. I got a just a little chip in right here. Little chip in. 
So this, you can go really slow and you just, it's just an approach shot, right? I would say, <laughs> oh, I'm going first person. What do you, do not go first person. Did you see you what just I just did? did? Yes, I did. You just gotta hit the button faster. It's All right. Just doing first person. <laughs> Even right. then, I thought you were going a little too fast. Really? I for how close that was. At okay. least that might be a more appropriate throw for your your typical, um, your typical length. <laughs> but resist the temptation to go blind throw. <laughs> First person, like this is, it's, it's okay, gonna throw off your training. Okay, we're training. So we've trained this far to, and then we've trusted the training. Finish trusting the training here. Okay, that's a little too much sauce. One, two. There we go. That looked, that looked great. Okay. And you said if you hurry up, you can get a free grab? Yeah, you go back to his tail when he's on his back, and you just press the punch button. Okay. Uh, when when he's just getting up, but the timing is very generous. You don't you don't have to be perfect with it. Yeah, that's a nice little chip in right here. Slow it down. Okay, slow. Slower. Okay, here we go. That's it. Slow it down. Nice little chip in. It's okay. Peace. I mean, I'm kind of bad at this, too. So I, I understand, but... Imagine your entire run coming down to this. Oh, it, it <laughs> happens every run. Oh. If, if you're lucky. If, if you haven't reset on BLJs or, you know, on Boeing or something like that, then every run comes down to this. But also, it's kind of pageantry to, to have this be like the end. Oh, I mean, it doesn't get any more epic than this. <laughs> All right. Have you beat him yet? Or are you still working music? on it? Oh, I've uh, probably beaten him maybe like seven times. Really? Yeah. Like, but that's that should be uh, motivating, you know. It, once you get it, it's not that. Uh, it, it's just pattern recognition. Okay, this should be a home run right here. I'm I'm just right here. So, talk me through this one, Ryan Gary. So I'm right okay. here. I can't. This is a missable thing. You should not <laughs> spin so. F you, you should spin faster than zero, but you should not spin at at that speed. Okay. Yeah, look, that's that was exactly enough. I think. You can grab him right there too. You don't need to wait for the the attack to finish. Okay. So this one's a little bit further. He's right on the power button. For after he's destroyed the level, you need to do pretty close to max. Okay. So that that's the one time I would say that the the John Daly drive is required. Okay. We can do this. This is the run right here. This is the run. I think you're getting them. Honestly, like Bowser 3 is the hardest just because it's the longest. You gotta hit three. Bowser 2 is the most annoying in terms of, like, the way he moves. Okay. There's got to be a close one. There we go. All right. Spin half speed. Uh, Chad's saying spin half speed, but then it doesn't get the sauce. You'll just get a feel for it. Now pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick okay. This may be it, Ryan Gary. Yo, I'm excited. Okay. Oh. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it. slow is good. Come on, baby, little juice. It's not what we wanted. Hey, don't throw the run. Don't throw the run. Don't throw the run. Don't throw the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find, pick your target. There's, there's probably one like right in front of you, right? Right there. Yeah, that's, that's the ticket right there. Okay. 
Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. Can you, can you trust? <laughs> I'm going to do one first person and just see if it works. Sure, sure, why not? All right. I'm, I, honestly, I hope it does it. Okay. I'm rooting against it because I think it's going to instill some bad habitry, but if, if, it, if it works, maybe, maybe you're like, you know, maybe you're just built different. I'm, I'm, I'm hitting for the Hall of Fames in first person. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. But I, I'm with you. I hope it doesn't work because it's sure it's a really bad habit, you know? I just like it. It's like so much harder to aim when every rotation Bowser makes. The camera makes like a quarter rotation. Like. This went two for two on Burpee. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That one's the close one. Find the closest. That's not it. We need it. We need it to be in the Furpy cam. There it is. What? He's got me thinking, man. Look <laughs> oh, it all Furpy. I need percentage. When do I split it? When do I split it? When you, when you touch the star. Okay. <laughs> How did you, dude? I put it in first person. It's horrible. Dude, so here, there's tech. On your first two spins, the camera's locked. And then after the second spin, it goes to chaos cam. Time. So, dude, try it. Try it, dude. That's new tech. So, these, the first two spins. So, go full speed and then go Furby. This is insane. No, get, oh, yeah, yeah. You should mute your audio as well for this. Your, your, um, oh. like the Switch audio. Okay. The song gets uh, content ID matched. Okay. Unfortunately. So, hear me out. So, go, go full. Wait till you're in full spin. And, oh, come on. Just trust me on this tech. Trust me on this one. Just, will you just trust me? I, tr I tried it like two times. No, it's, uh, it's, no, no, just trust me. You gotta be, you gotta be in full spin. Get him in full yeet. No, not yet. Go, go to, go to Lakitu. Go to Lakitu. Okay, I'm in, I'm in Lakitu. Okay, get, get, get yourself some good mo. Okay, when you go to Mario Cam, you're gonna get two spins that are locked, and then it's gonna okay. go Chaos Cam. That's, that's. So, yeah. But one, two, let. You, oh, see, oh <laughs> see, you only get two. You gotta let it go by the second, Marty. Here we go. Oh, pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Not you know, bad. I I don't know if it gains you anything, <laughs> but I think that might be the best way to minimize what it loses you. I guess. <laughs> when when can I turn the song back on? I want to hear what she says. Oh, never. Oh, okay. Then and that's the run. That's that's Mario sixty four. That's a fun run. And then, dude, it, it's so much more fun when it's fast as well. Like, you, you got all the tricks now. It's just a matter of putting them all together. or Not even all of them. You put together, you know, four or five on one run. You get a 60-minute a, a run. Then you put together a few more. You get a sub-60. Get a little bit more consistent. That sub-45's in there. And, and there you go. What's your, what's your PB right now? 24.03. Oh, my God. And that's it's good like that's that's hitting most things like first try but having leaving a lot of meat on the bone for schmoving for sure oh ryan gary that was i mean look you'd have told me 2022 you'd be you'd be coaching <laughs> me on you. super so mario brother um 64 speed runs mm. i would say you know what that's pretty good it's good stuff it was a it was a really fun mm. run i you know i know for you and I tried to minimize it. I tr it's right. like uh, the the memery because I you were in the, you were in teacher mode. I and I just want to say, chat, can we get some easy clap in the chat for Ryan <laughs> Gary? Because I, I my my goal was not to get him to to I don't have a rook anymore. It was just coaching Ryan and coaching Ryan's pretty good. Ryan, I mean, you got us to a oh, sub three hour PB. Job. Thank you. Yeah. Dude, please get um, some dang pack spam in the so chat. So I'm I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna try this again next week. Give me one thing to work on next week. For, on no, this run. Just first thing I would say is knowing the route. If you could get through the run without having to be like, where do I go here? What level is this? Et cetera, et cetera. You're going to be, you're going to be off to the races. Okay. Yeah, dude, that was a lot of fun, man. Thanks so much for, uh, for taking the time. Cause I know your patience was tested at times. <laughs>
<laughs> no, dude, honestly, I, I, I felt like uh, we were pretty focused. Yeah. I, and it was, I, I thought three hours was a reasonable estimate, and that's that's how it went down. Yeah. I mean, if you're looking at the clock, too, I mean, we're talking production value. What do, what do you got going the rest of uh, your stream? I didn't know what I was going to do, so <laughs> I think I'm just going to do some more Mario, because now I got the itch. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, can you do it for, like, Thank a little you, bit longer so I can packs, do packs the and chat. then come watch one of your runs? I'll, I'll do my best. Okay. Dude, thanks so much. It was a lot of fun. No worries. Later. All right, later. Chat. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello. You hang up. Okay. I'll hang up. You hang up. Oh, you hang up. No. You Chat. What do we think? I, that's a fun run. I will say that's a fun run. Um. That was a fun run, huh? Twenty four oh nine. Yo, thank you guys chat. for all the support during that. Um, I appreciate it. Flurby Pro, thanks for the five gifted. Um, I do, I do want to take a second before we thank everyone. Let's clean up these splits. Like, how do I make this so it shows sob and that stuff? I could see doing like one run a week. Yeah, I mean, if you're if you're learn if you want to learn the run. That's a great VOD to have, for sure. Deserves to be more than one weekly. I mean, if we get it down, you know? Um, maybe edit layout, some of best. Thank you. Can we please get some dang pack spam in the chat? Splits. Some of the runs. I mean, if we could get it to like a 30, 40 minute run, then we could do a couple a week. The platter is buckling under the weight of all the games to play. You're not wrong. I just don't know how we turn some of best on here. That's pretty good though. All right, that's fun. I'll, I'll, I'll have to mess with the speed run tech, but thank you guys. Ooh. This is, I mean, I'm taking my Switch home this week and I'll tell you that. Faster than you beat it as a 12 year old. Hollow Knight, Nuzlocke, Mario, Dead Cells. Right click, edit, layout, add, some of beds. Right click, edit, layout, add. Rala, that's why you are a VIP. Some of best, baby. Sob. Man, those BLJs were a rush. We're not gonna do it because we're gonna open up packs right now. But We're not going to do it. Oh, that's the first try. We're coming for you. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What a rush. What a rush. We're not even going to look at 112. Oh, man. I'm, that, that's the new don't, man. I'll blow my throat out on that one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Just clip it and send it to NL. Uh, it's NL, that's from your teachings. The coachings. Oh, my gosh. That's pretty good. Oh, man. All right. We, listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you were here for the first ever Mar Mario 64 speed run, I was here, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Th thank you for changing the, the stream title to uh, mods. I appreciate that. Man, <laughs> look, look, I just want to say this. If if I can, if I can be LJ, anyone can. That's not even, that's not even, not even close. How about some Gerudo Valley? 
Little Gerudo Valley. Man, that was fun. That was fun. I can't believe that, man. Dude, now I just got a little taste. I want to do one more, but you got to know. You got to know when to hold them, when to fold them.